here. I'm done. Let me turn this down. This music is the song Punish the Evil Merchant from Tenchu Self Assassins. I have no idea why I decided to put that on. PS1 game. I, I, literally, the only thing I can think of, the connection, the only connection I can think of is that I've just been playing Resident Evil 4, the remake, and that has a merchant in it. And then when I was thinking of a stream title, it's like, oh, Punish the Evil Merchant from Tenchu, Stealth Assassins for the PS1, released in fucking 1998 apparently. From Software like owns Tenchu now. Because I think Sekiro was meant to be a Tenchu remake. Or maybe they don't own it. But I think they div I don't know. There's like some like genetic line that goes back from From Software to Tenchu. And Sekiro at some point was meant to be a remake of Tenchu. Are we streaming RE4 remake? No, we are not. Because <laughs> I'm still playing through it. It'll be just a chillax Rocket League stream. But I might stream RE4 I am very much loving the Resident Evil 4 remake. But I've still got a long ways to go until I complete it, so... Paul said he was ready, but he was clearly lying. Just sit in the Discord and wait for him. Well, they're doing uh, another Armored Core game, which is like, you've just released you know, your greatest selling game of all time, your crowning achievement. And it's like, you know what, let's do an Armored Core game now. So they're clearly not above taking risks. But then again, they are also doing an Elden Ring DLC, so... I'm, I can't even do anything until Paul gets here, so I'm just waiting. He said he was ready. The game soundtrack was composed by Noriyuki Asakura. There you go. I'm just reading the YouTube now. But yeah, this is the music that plays in the first mission. It's also a very hard game. Because it's a PS1 game. Trying to do stealth. Bam. No, they should remake that really shit game that no one liked. What was it? Ninja Blade or something. Like, it's the red-headed step. It's called Ninja Blade, isn't it? Yeah! Ninja Blade! It was shit. Everyone hated it. It was like 95% quick time events. Oh, no one remembers Ninja Blade. I only remember it because I watched a YouTube video about how shit it was. It was like an Xbox 360 exclusive. And it was crap. <laughs> Imagine all the good things about a FromSoft game, and it had none of them. Where the fuck is Paul? I'm gonna yell at him on Facebook so loud. I suppose I should launch Rocket League, because that does take 10 minutes to launch. Oh god, Resident Evil 4 is so good, by the way. I high, heavy, strong recommend. Unless it gets really shit immediately after the part that I'm playing up to. <laughs> like, it just nosedives in quality immediately after I, like, start playing it again. It is going to be the game of the year. It's just, it's everything that a remake should be. Good. <laughs> And I was, I was one of the naysayers. I was one of the people that said you didn't need to do Resident Evil 4. You could have just left it. Like, the original is good enough. Like, you don't need to completely remake 4. But I, I, will, I will say I've been proven wrong. Decisively. Because it is an incredibly good game. And I say that as someone who doesn't like Resident Evil 4 as much as other people as well. Like, I'm not a huge fan of Resident Evil 4. Oh yeah, I've heard The Last of Us PC port was... was not good. Was that a B-team job? 
a GTA 4 job. Right, I'm launching Rocket League while I'm waiting for Paul to do something. Just put no, you're not. Did, did they accidentally ship the wrong version? That'd be funny. I don't know. I've seen a couple of the, you know, the funny glitches. I've seen the, the people getting wet glitch. I've seen the, the weird eyebrows on Joel. Oh god, if Aaron and Stephen and Aaron are saying they're incoming. Holy shit, they might actually beat Paul despite the fact that Paul said he was friggin' ready. He was freaking ready. Let me get this straight. I'm in a world that I haven't been in before. I'm fighting freaking dragons. And oh yeah, I'm talking to a cuff. Oh wait, hold on. Let me find the the, the forespoken trailer. Maybe I'll start flying next. Oh, that game immediately got shot on, didn't it? They even get well received. It had no chance. Not after, like, they should, of course, correct. As soon as they saw the response to the, the horrible dialogue, they should have said, okay, we're going to need to, like, get, get the actress back in the studio and make the game good. And it didn't help that it's a Square Enix game, so there was a 75% chance that even if it was a massive success, they would have disbanded the studio and sold NFTs anyway, so. This is just a games news chatting stream. That hot new game, Forspoken. I, I watched someone stream it and it, it didn't look good. It was just, it didn't have anything going for it. I'm sad to say. Because, you know, it's an original IP, so you want it to at least be good. You know, you don't want it to be... But the problem is, all the good IPs are remakes. Damn it. Damn you, Capcom, for proving everyone right by making good remakes. You need to make a shit one. You need to try and remake five and still have it be shit. That's what you should do. There's no way they remake 5, right? But I guess I said there was no way they remake 4, and they did it, and they did it well, so far. Where the fuck is everyone? I only like started because Paul said, I'm ready. Did he immediately fall down an entire flight of stairs backwards as soon as he said that? I don't know if... I suppose RE4 does make a lot of changes, but they're all good changes. They don't fuck up. They clearly thought about it a lot. That's the, that's what I'd say. They clearly put a lot of thought into it. Although, like I said, I'm only like halfway through, I'd say. Maybe more than halfway. I don't know. I don't know how much they, they cut out towards the end. But assuming that it's paced anything like the first game, I'm about halfway through it. And unless it falls off a fucking cliff, unless like it just changes so like... Lee, it, you know, it just becomes one big stealth escort section and Leon isn't allowed to use... Oh. Someone. Someone. Someone I can't hear. Hello? 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 Hello. There we go. Good. 
Okay, and I've, my audio is prefixed. I'll do mine now. Yeah, I don't think RE4 is good. Although the weakest part of RE4 is the back end, so we'll see. But even if it is, like, it's been so fucking good so far. Even if it's slightly oh, yeah, weaker. Yeah, I saw you were playing Resident Evil 4 the other day. Is yeah. that the remake? It is the remake. And it's remake incredibly game. good. Good. I'm glad it's good. Capcom. Should be good. They've, they've been knocking out the part recently. Resident Evil 4. Yep, Resident Evil 8. Other games they make. Great. Love, love it. Right. Uh, Resident so this, Evil 7. This Windows, this Windows ergonomic keyboard. D does macros in a really convoluted way. It doesn't make sense. And that's what happens, I guess, if you dominate the market. Uh, if you want to start with a Resident Evil game, I would start with Resident Evil. I would just start with all the remakes. So start with the Resident Evil 1 remake. And they then do remakes. 2, then 3, then 4. Like, they've just got... Three's the weakest link on that, and that's only because it's very short. But it's a it's a run of just great remakes. And then skip five and six and go straight to seven. <laughs> and the only one I've played is five. Yeah. Five is at least fun if you co op it. Playing it single mm. player is like pulling teeth. Mm. We still need to do six at some point, I guess. Six is the bad one. I don't think it's terrible, but bad it's, one? it's very There's long. A badder one? It's very long. It's too long. That's my mm. main problem with it. It just goes on. Because long. it's got three storylines and then a fourth, like, final storyline, and they're all really oh, long. Oh, it's, it's and like it's, Sonic 06. Yeah, and the story, and the gameplay is just kind of samey. It's not terrible. It's just... I don't know. It's funny. Well, it's it's a very funny game, game. I'll say that. It's got, it's got a lot of good comedy in it. Hmm. In the sense, uh, unintentional comedy, but it is very funny. Good. Well, one third of it was COD. They, they tried to do three different games, because they had Leon be the classic survival horror. Then Chris is just COD. It is cover shooter COD. And then they had the new guy, Jake, who's all, like, melee focused. And his is actually, like, and Leon's and Jake's are okay. But then Chris's is just, yeah, it's just cover shooter shite. For most of it, but it's 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 all right. It just needed a it just needed a haircut. Oh, that's a nice new glitch that Steam chat uh, the Twitch does. What if you exit if you pop out the chat and then exit the stream window, the chat disappears. Oh, that's new. Just pause the stream forehead, yeah. which is weird because now it remembers where the stream is if you like refresh the stream. Maybe it's a consequence of that. Also, Epic Games is preparing the Epic Games launcher. Here's Rocket League, everyone. Punish the evil merchant. How many computers not today? Um, if they, I just don't see the 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 problem with remaking five and six. Is there's no nothing to be gained from it. There's because. Five is very by the numbers a follow on from four, except it has co op. And it's set in Africa and it's kind of racist. And then six is like it's a follow on from five and it's set in everywhere and it's very long. They should just remake seven, <laughs> even though it came out like five years ago. Has anyone chatted since 1009, Ben? I'd say so. Lord River said, I guess if they remake it, they could just cut out the COD part. Okay, that's the last message I see as well, so hopefully okay. the chat isn't paused. Well, I guess the point there of trying to... There you go. Yeah. But, I don't know. They should just focus on... I don't know what they should do next, because... Tell you what, they could remake one again, because they haven't remade it since the GameCube one. <laughs> so they could just say, fuck it, let's remake one. Let's be legends. I remember playing Resident Evil 4 on a, game. a friend's GameCube. And I absolutely fucking hated the fixed camera angles. Resident Evil 4 didn't have fixed camera angles, you fool. I don't know what I was playing. Maybe it was it. Well, was it. Was there a game called Resident Evil Zero? Yes. 
That's the bad one. It must have been that one, yeah. It's where you play as Rebecca Chambers. And it also, yeah, it, I need to stream Zero at some point because that's a game that did a lot of interesting things that? and none of them worked out. What is that? But Zero, Zero is a prequel. Oh. And it's very... It actually kind of does the Sonic thing where it, it tries to be a Final Fantasy game. But it's a Resident yeah, Evil game. There's like an yeah, yeah, opera singing guy who can control leeches with his mind. It's very weird. I know a guy like that. But yeah, that had fixed camera angles. And it's not a very good game. Right, Invite me to your party. Oh, well, hold on. I'm just doing something. Oh, can you hear this? No. Yeah, this whole landscape is testament to the erosive power of this stuff, this mixture. I can, but it could stand to be a bit quieter. Yeah, I, I had it up loud for some reason, sorry. The erotic power of this mixture. The, the Merchant's in power. RE4 remake as well, and he's good. Merchants of Venice. Oh, there they are. I'm Too a cowboy! Late. Oh no, Too did late. I miss a Rocket League tournament? No, no you didn't. No? But you Hello? Did, you, didn't even, you weren't even here in time for Paul to launch a game without you. Because he's oh. too busy thinking about Fruit Loops all day. Hello? No, I was been there. Fruit, Fruit Loops? Yeah. Alright, so we can just wait for oh, Steven. Oh my god. Oh, that's right, I have no second fucking monitor anymore. Who are we? Uh, I did tell you to have this one. Yeah, that's no good then, you don't have one. Okay. Sorry, viewers. Bald 3. I will be late on seeing comments. That's okay, don't worry, I'll tell you what they're saying. Or not saying. Or maybe I won't. Alright. Steven, can you talk I about I just broke the Geneva Convention. What'd you say? Just talk about it, just need to balance out your audio. Yeah, I can turn it up or down for you if you want. No, it's fine. Hi, I, I had it at 150. You sure you don't want me to turn it up? How no, are you I had it at 150. It's fine. Uh, Hello, CC. Hello, Vaddy. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. COVID Ooh. and flu at the same time. <gasps> Your bird has birds. Is that even possible? <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah, all things are possible. Can they, like, can they, like, fight each other, though, to... To determine who is the, the the most successful virus, as they should under a capitalist economy. Was that not a house episode plot? Oh, uh, that's terrible. They had yeah. like hepatitis or something, and it was fighting legionnaires or legionnaires, and it was yeah, fighting hepatitis. Yeah, there is a bit of that. I remember that, but I can't remember what. I have. It might have literally been legionnaires and hepatitis. There was uh, the one with the the, the brain eating virus. My favorite episode. Um, where the guy also right, had Legionella, fighting. but I don't think I think I don't think it was fighting the disease. It was just oh wait no because they do infect Foreman with it as well, don't they? To slow him down. Slow yeah. Him down. Okay, it's that episode. Yeah. Legionella. Yeah, Legionella sounds like Legionnaire's girlfriend. Which, if you look up, Nagleria doesn't actually have a cure, so Foreman would have died. F. But some of them use yeah. COVID, flu, and AIDS. Nigleria is also the name of a streamer, speedrunner that so also did the bad things. Also died. <laughs> I know who you're talking about. He's a Sonic 2 guy, isn't he? Those were that yeah. was the good old days. That who was a great this? fucking stream too back in the day. And then, or no, that was a great game done quick back in the day. Oh, is that the one that you sent us ages ago? It's a full on hard alt writer, yes. Oh, God. I thought it would be like. He groomed children or something because that seems to be the other thing that ha happens all the time. No, no. So, but the, there was talks of the Jewish question and all sorts in their discard. So he was no. jer he was jerking off the deep fakes of his friends, <laughs> and then made an apology video with his wife crying behind him. God, so that's many... fucking art. <laughs> See, this is why I don't ever want us to become like successful streamers because he did so many things wrong. Literally, that will happen at some point to one of us. Like, he did like ten things had to go wrong for that to happen. <laughs> right, let's win a game. Uh, let me know if the audio is bad or good. 
What was that guy's name? It doesn't really matter. His career's over, I assume. Has he has he I tried to stream since then? Apart from obviously the apology stream. I have no idea. Apart from that, games done quick. Video no. of Sonic. I haven't actually seen him. No, I mean the deep fake guy. I don't actually know. I didn't track that after that. I just. I don't think I'd... I don't think Sonic guy will have apologized. I have a feeling. Audio is good. No, the Audio Sonic guy was fucking hilarious because he came out and said that's not who I was and some of the mess. No, that's not who I am as a person and some of the messages were like a week beforehand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the victim of the classic this you, isn't you? <laughs> oh. you, have to, you have to keep a track on these things. Like, if you say that you used to stick your finger up corpses, you have to not say that you don't do it. Yeah. Like, you know, we're quite open that in the we earlier stick videos, fingers up corpses. <laughs> we, well, stick, sticking fingers up something was, it was a oh, long running thing. That was thing. fucking inadvertent. Go cool, Ben. Oh, oh place. that was verdant. It, was, it got away from me. Like, in the older videos, we said very bad things. Yes. And we completely disavow everything, and we have proven that via this our th actions. And speech. Like, this is in the where I show forever. you a tweet saying, I don't disavow any of this, I stand by all. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, that nice. was what Graham Winahan said, I think. Alrighty. <laughs> nice. Oh, I fucking wish. I mean, Last in chat for Paul Grayson. No. Oh, yeah. Uh, Paul Grayson, thank you. What? Uh, in, the, in Parliament. Who was it that said that? When they were giving tributes to him, they said his name was Paul Grayson. Oh, for I didn't realize sake. Paul O'Grady was like such a fucking Dead. Chad. Yeah, I didn't either. Like I knew vaguely of his drag uh, background uh, and the uh, shows, but yeah. then looking at his actual history, I was like, wow, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry, but he is everything um, everyone aspires to be. According to Winsy O'Connell from the Daily Telegraph, he was actually the most anti-woke comedian there was. Oh, right, okay. Oh, of course, yes. I'm going to look up and there actually is going to be a journalist Is that why he literally did the thing that they would try to cancel him for now by, like, dressing in drag, which is basically now, like, terrorism? <laughs> Cancelling him for dressing in drag? Well, the right words, rather. Nice. Oh, nice. Thanks. Then you're my senpai. Ugh. Dubs. <laughs> That's not a dub, that's a... What? Chaps. They, they voiced a, a, a manga on the internet. Ah, oh, right. There's probably ones of the actual dub in there as well. Ugh. Of course, Damn. binging with Babish has oh, been sponsored by the game. Don't they have like six billion subs? At some point, you, your morals go out the window. It's like when you get a certain amount of money. Well, so if I got six is... billion subs, I would definitely not do most of those things anyway, to be honest, I don't think. The thing cracks me up as we subscribed like yesterday. <laughs> oh no. To who? Sorry? Benzo. This is all right, man. He makes food yeah. stuff. Dave's Literally, just the guy. description is he makes food. What would we As Bitch. the vegans, no. uh, we were watching yesterday. Oh. <laughs> Making chips with dog fat. That's a pretty bad steak. amount. You know, something hasn't they been so cancelled. Electrical beast. I don't think he ever said anything inappropriate on his videos. No, because they were for ages of audience. Popular enough. He was really popular for a while. Oh, it's like us then. It was yeah. YouTube popularity was real. If I was actually looking up the Wikipedia article for like you know the the leak the like timeline of subs the most subbed channels. And it was like the most yeah. sub channel at one point was like 100,000 subs. Never to be oh, beaten. Oh, God. At one point, right, at one point we must have had about 2k subs. At the point at which we reached 2,000 subs, where do you think we were in the overall YouTube subs league table? Would we have been in like the top? A thousand. No, no we were still never that high. No. We, I think we 
are still at our highest that we've ever been because you generally don't lose subscribers very fast. No, we're losing subscribers because people's accounts are being deactivated. Like. Someone check social, but I'm nearly certain we're still at the highest we've ever been. Oh no, what might I mean? But I mean, at our, at our peak, where were we in the YouTube hierarchy, do you reckon? Not like, very cause, high. Because there was a very brief window where if we'd kept making content, yes. we might have made some real money. <laughs> Hold on. I'll keep my monetization yeah, income for good, ages. Huh? And even then, it wasn't good for ages. Yeah. But also, we'd probably have been cancelled years yeah. later for saying the R word. So, probably a good thing. The R word. Oh, yeah, other things too. None of which I said. I should point out. Yes, you were the sensible one. We know. Yeah, you enabled it. I did. Which you oh, know, in in the hierarchy of hell, means you're actually worse. <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> I did call out how it works. You did. Forgot to clip it. I forgot to clip it as well. Oh. I did eventually start clipping some quite bad stuff. Like the we're time we, um... No, we're not! <gasps> Please, viewers, don't go back and cancel us, but at this point, there's nobody left, so it's okay, really. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, remember this YouTube channel from 16 years ago? They said bad things on the channel. <laughs> we read bad things and said bad things over them. We took yeah. it a bit too yeah. seriously, though. Oh, no! Fuck. Oh, fuck off. Intense Gale 3903. In one video, Vati. I think all of us said mm. that multiple times because that was just back in the day it was just a word you used for bad because yeah using Ugh, using slurs for things that are Don't bad concede. is normal you know that's, that's, that's fine faked him yes and it wasn't good then and it isn't good now no well no Concerned that I had to recently go back and edit Dongs of Marrakesh <laughs> to remove some stuff. Yeah. I didn't yeah, actually check to see if that actually went through. Check to see if stuff it says McGonagall's a, a nice one. person. <laughs> yeah, on. easy, easy. <laughs> Did I remember? I remember saying it like as late as fucking. You know, 2011 or something. Oh, we said it in Face the Straight, reading what it says in the, the fanfic. Yeah. Mm. Come with a, your it's, friends. It's a product of its time. Free weekend. Edgy teenagers making edgy jokes <laughs> on the cusp of becoming like full leftist or alt right, and luckily we all went all over the right side, I guess. We all went or the Saturday left Saturday. side. Golf with friends. The left side, huh? I should say. Huh? I want a Saturday stream now. Just yeah. <laughs> golf with friends. Ah, my controller's connected. Golf with friends. Why are you playing golf with friends? Steven, so you're not Steven. connecting. Oh no, we got cancelled. What happened? We got cancelled. Yeah. yeah. What happened, Steven? I didn't connect. Oh. Oh. I don't know. It's right. just stopped. Oh. I'll reinvite you then. Weird. I can't believe it's the weekend. I'm gonna play so much Resident Evil. It's only Thursday, Ben. I know, Wait, but I get tomorrow off. I'm glad someone's been having good luck with shinies lately. I have not. Who needs shinies? I don't know, we have our edge large. Why is Iron Bundle shiny? What does it look like? Is there it any go. good? I'm back. Ah, good. Well, the party was destroyed. It was me, I did it. My Rocket League is absolutely having a bad time. Yeah, it really is freaking out there. There we go. You're in. Hacker voice. Haha, <laughs> you're in. So basically this is my roundabout way of saying we probably will unlist all those videos at some point. Yeah, at this point, our main pull is people trying to watch Killer Dam. Yeah, oh, sorry, Killer Flood. Flood. <laughs> the day the dam broke. I will probably be revamping them and like putting them out, like edited at some point as well. Is this before or after you do the Twilight edits? <laughs> well, as I previously announced to the world, I will soon be a father, so my limited free time will become what? Well, What's you'll that? Have you're not joining again, Stephen. 
This is what? weird. I'm gonna have to restart. Block it, Bleak. I think you will. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Rocket League is broken for Steven. I'm so sad. <laughs> Aaron is like slowly yanking on the Ethernet cable with her tool or something. <laughs> I'm just going to play a goal conceded song every time Steven fails to connect. What's he going to say? Restarting Rocket League. Oh, it's before that. Killer Flood. What were we talking about after you said Killer Flood? Are you gonna stream? That is the main video we have. No, um, something else. Fucking quit the game. Yeah. Oh, hello, Ben. You're very happy to see us. What the fuck was I talking about? Um. Dong's Marrakesh. No. Dong's Marrakesh. Uh, you're getting Friday off because reasons. No, no. Right. It was after so we were talking about Killer Flood, it was a very brief thought that was probably only in my head for about three seconds. Before it was gone forever. <laughs> gone forever. Paul editing Twilight. Oh, that's it. Right, so when you've got a kid, you're going to be like on paternity leave. That's what I was going to ask. Yeah. For her long? We've got lots of free time then. You won't be busy. Uh, three yeah. months. Yeah, so you've got three months of editing. To... And you won't be able to do anything else. You won't be able to game because you're going to have to be like fucking at the beck and call of a child. <laughs> they don't do that much, do they? Can't father, I have shot in my nappy. For Can you please father, address the past hour. Father, father, I cannot flush the nappy. <laughs> but okay, yeah, but it, 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 perfect call. editing time because it's something that you can do in bite-sized chunks. To be fair, chunks. half the iconic my immortal readings of the era are gone. Wait, what? <laughs> are they? Who could forget All of the other channels? I thought you <laughs> That's because all the people listened back to the things in the reading and went, Whoa, I don't want that online. Yeah. Who could forget the fanfiction critic and the person employment. that... And the person who, like, read out the reading in a text-to-speech voice with emo pictures and got more views than we did because God, society is not fair. That. I'm incredibly bitter about Internet Historian doing a whole thing on my mortal and not mentioning us. Nah. as the most popular ones. What was I going to say? I'm not as, sure. I think they're probably in like the top three most popular, maybe. As as uh, Jeremy Iron said in the film, whatever the film, um, why can't gay people... Mar no, no, what was it? As he said, you have to... Was it yeah, be first... Said in Red Bar never fucking mentioned Was it be either. first, be good, or cheat, I think. What, that's what he said, wasn't it? Uh, in Margin yeah, Call. Yeah, he did it. Hmm. It's like, be first, be the best, or cheat, I think, were the things that he said. I can't remember. But then he also said some weird stuff about gay marriage. Oh my god, okay. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, and some of the things that, some of the things that's, because seriously I did the video where, like, the supposed author, I think I've mentioned this before, the supposed author of My Immortal messaged her and said, oh yeah, I wrote it. Yeah, she And then she weird. had this big conversation with him. And the thing is, is that he absolutely did fucking not because I was there when this happened and the actual bloody wrist 666 account um, posted on his page saying, stop sit, stop pretending to be me. Oh. All those internet all that, moments the, lost. the record of that is gone. Yeah. Like tears in the rain. So he's a fucking, he's a fucking liar. And I fucked that up. Mm -hmm. It's like when... So if, Like when I die, like intricate knowledge of two thousand and seven, two thousand and nine let's play sub forum on something awful forums will be lost nice. forever. <laughs> That'd be my specialist subject in Mastermind. <laughs> you did like let's play back in the day, didn't you, Ben? I did. I did a huge let's play. You were like I said, ninety percent of my jokes are recycled jokes from old two thousand and six let's plays. <laughs> <laughs> They're just somehow oh, still topical. I wouldn't have a... For me, the glory years of the internet were 2005 to roughly 2008. Yeah. Before the before it got drama. Hey. Did you Norway's join? Topical, because we Scotland are good now. Um, um, Jason. Jason. Yeah. 
For one day of having a Muslim first minister when we fucking beat Spain. How is that? I that yeah, I, I, I still think that game was a fever dream, to be honest. I'm not convinced it actually happened. Like, when has Scott McTominay ever scored, like, a goal? He's going to like... He scored that goal against Israel. I know it's hard to remember no, because did. we played Israel 35 times, but... Yeah. I can't believe we played... We never played... We never played... Oh, 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 that was good. We didn't play Israel. That was a great job That was now. Scott McTominay-esque. <laughs> it was. That it just went in barely. See, you've got me thinking. I don't think I'd have a specialist subject on Mastermind. You need to have, like, the, the thing is, you have to have, like, five of them, because you every round you have to have a new one. Oh, fuck. Like, if you I could probably if, Assuming you progress, that is. My name's Rebecca Black, and I say... And there are certain things you're not allowed to have, because they're, Friday. like, common. <laughs> like, I think Harry Potter is not allowed. My special interest is... Uh, no one is allowed to have a specialist subject as Harry Potter anymore. It's banned. There's now a dog whistle. It is banned! I just told you that! <laughs> you know, these, these were made with trade. <laughs> Listen to me! No! No. Uh, I forget what the other ones are, but it's basically things that would be popular. You know, popular. So I fucking EastEnders, I imagine, is not allowed. Lord of the Rings back in, back. Back end lore, whatever oh, word is for. Yeah, my mom don't know. I, 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 I think I remember right. someone's special subject being Lord of the Rings. Maybe, like, publications. Sometimes it has to be, like, a specific aspect of it. And maybe, like, fucking editions that were published or something. In a bomber's manifesto. Mm -hmm. And then you've got the fucking <clears throat> general knowledge. Who was that also. again? The Unabomber. Unabomber. Was that Timothy McVeigh? No. Well, I think it's something else. Timothy McVeigh was the Oklahoma City Bomber. He's a much worse person. Unabomber is the one the CIA accidentally created. Uh, oh, yeah. I think I know what you're talking about now. Told him everything he did was shit until he cracked, essentially. Oh. Nice. You know, Bomber only killed like four guys or whatever. The Oklahoma City Bomber killed like 200 wow. people or something. That was great. I think it was I mean, the deadliest terrorist that. attack until the big one. <laughs> the big one, obviously, being. Fuck, I, I couldn't think of another terrorist attack. 9 11. Let's see. Mm. Incidentally, Una is a not common, but relatively common Irish name. So every time I see Una Bomber, I just laugh now. Spelled a lot of different ways as well. Right. There was an there was an Una um, when I was an intern at the somewhere. Ah yes, there. I was right. Yes, I knew it. I don't. There's my specialist subject: U.S. terrorist attacks. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all know what my specialist subjects would be. Pokemon. Pokemon, Robot like... Wars, probably I think video games would be I, I don't know. I'd have to check to no, see because there's been some weird fucking special subjects for years. Like that guy who had Jim Carrey films and then only got like one point. <laughs> like the boldness <laughs> of picking that as your specialist subject and then also being shy at it. Who is actress Jim Carrey? See, he that's was the... the guy from Halloween. And they weren't like <clears throat> hard questions. Like. Even someone with a passing knowledge of Jim Carrey would have got like at least three or four of them. Like, what? I think one of them's like literally Ace Ventura. What is this? What was the, the film that he was in, starring a pet detective or something? I love how every every long form conversation we have mm -hmm. in these streams always ends up with you leading a discussion about an like an old like. TV show from the 90s and 2000s. Mastermind's not the It's because we live in nostalgia, but I know. Also, the, the Irish guy from Eggheads who also won the one year on there won Mastermind. You grabbed a bit, I cannot hear you, Ben. Oh, right, yeah. Sorry, the, the Irish guy from oh. Eggheads. Pat. C CJ. CJ Demoige. No, he killed someone, but he wasn't 
He did, he killed someone. Or it's, claimed to have killed someone. Yeah. His life's been like ruined, I think. He doesn't do anything anymore. He was like... Is he not? He wasn't that great an egghead. Like, he wasn't like one of the... Like, he was... I have a feeling that CJ is definitely one of those like anti-masker people. I don't know, I think he's just there. Let me see. Let's see what CJ Demoy is up to. CJ Demoy. Oh, there's a picture of him. His name is Connor Joseph Demoy. Uh, yes, he Connor was arrested. Uh, he declared bankruptcy yeah. because of the arrest regarding the fact that he claimed that he pushed someone into a river. Jesus. Um, he's teetotal. <coughs> he had a GoFundMe saying he's bankrupt, For, extremely uh, ill, and, ex and in imminent danger of losing his house. He's highly active on Twitter. Oh, he's got, oh, know. fuck, he's got AIDS. Shit. Oh, Jesus. He's not had a good go of it. Has it, has it progressed to, I don't know, uh, like, He's AIDS. still going, as, as far as I know. He hasn't died. God. Poor CJ. I didn't watch Egghead, so... In my head, CJ is the guy from San Andreas. Yeah. But the main reason I know about CJ is that he was on... Actually, <laughs> couldn't look further from day. him <laughs> if it was possible. Yeah. I can imagine anyone who's on Eggheads, yes. Mm -hmm. He was the extremely arrogant ah. guy on The Weakest Link, which is how I he knew He was the youngest. And he, has, and he has an interesting name. I, he wasn't CJ the worst one. Judith was the worst one, because her gimmick was, I won who wants... She was the first one to win who wants to be a millionaire. Yeah. But they already had another person who had won who wants to be a millionaire on it. No! Ah, so she, I like the American... I like, I like the American guy who won it, and, like, he did all the questions without a lifeline, and then on the last question, he, he just phoned his dad and said, yeah. I'm waiting yeah. to win a millionaire. That yeah, was good. his name was John Carpenter. And he was a carpenter. Mm -hmm. It's annoying, well, because if he hadn't... The money. If he hadn't blown that fucking lifeline, he would have been the first one to do the whole thing without using a lifeline. I mean, he's getting a million, I don't think he cared that much. I did. Yeah. I, I care, though. <laughs> it was ah, good though. I did. I did enjoy. I did enjoy that. Yeah, the only thing heavier than his money that day was his nuts. How does he know everything? How does he know everything? That's what his I. His special to interest like, is he, everything. Well, he didn't know everything. He yeah. knew fifteen things. What was the number again? He, he might not know a single other thing. Yeah, it could have been like a Slumdog Millionaire situation. He just happened to know all fifteen of those things. I think that's exactly And the thing is, the one that he got the million for, it's like the president that appeared on the TV show Laughing, which is Richard Nixon. I I watched the clip of it. Like, he's in it for like two seconds. How the fuck do you remember that? Mm. It's like, Ruby, I think it's Richard Nixon. Anyway. But like, he's, he's just in it, he goes, shocker to me. And then like, that's it. <laughs> it must have been a very memorable thing. <laughs> I reckon he the was thing? secretly an absolutely raging alcoholic, and the reason he knew all these was because he was just constantly in pop quizzes. The thing that I remember the mostest about Millionaire, or my my biggest thing about Millionaire, is mind the guy who who cheated. Yes, yes. of course. I am, sorry, sorry. I, 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 <clears throat> yes, I am extremely obsessed with this case. So yes, go on. Big Big Charlie Ingram. Charles um, Ingram. Yeah. So I've, I've the million that. pound question. The million pound question. What is a number with a hundred? Euros after yeah, it. Piss easy. I Probably the easiest million the answer, part question. I knew the answer to that before like mm. the the web page Google was a thing because I read it in a book as a child, thought it was the most interesting thing I'd ever yeah. read in my life and Still committed your it to long term memory. Moment. Yeah. Yeah. It could have been you. <laughs> could have been me. Fifteen year old Paul on Assuming you knew who painted hair. the ambassadors. <laughs> That was, uh, it was uh, Dave from next door, I think. I, I can't remember. I don't even think it was... It was not, like, who painted it, but it was, like, where did the guy who painted it come from, which is even more, like, fucking... The fact that you remember that question, Ben. I've seen the you, you episode. Remember, I've you... seen the documentary on the episode. I've seen the ITV dramatization of what happened, where they try to fake it that he's actually somewhat innocent. And he's still there about the fill question. I think, I think right. we've just I think we've just found out one of Ben's special interests. I remember a couple of them. I remember the Craig Brown one, but just because that one was so fucking obvious. <laughs> Not obviously easy, but just how obvious he was cheating on that one. We should watch that. Oh nice. Oof. Yeah. Tell you what, yeah, after we're okay. done with this, we'll do a react stream yeah, on okay. the Charles Ingram <laughs> yeah. millionaire. 
Uh, there first is of actually... all, then, though, can you can do you remember the four possible answers to that question? What the Craig David one? Craig David. Yeah. Uh, I know top loader was one. I think A1 was another one. I can't remember what the other one was. The what were the other two answers? Uh, so the uh, well, Craig David was the correct answer. The, 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 the <coughs> qu <coughs> oh, there you go. Except it was his wife that time. Because uh, <laughs> the other guy didn't know it, so his wife coughed. <laughs> How did he... Like... Oh, fuck. <clears throat> you turn the tables on me. You turn the tables in a wrong way. Damn straight. Oh, Rose Chris, <laughs> Rose Christo updated her Amazon author profile to oh, say she was yeah. seeking treatment for schizoaffective disorder. I think that yeah. means she didn't write the book. Yeah, I have a feeling that she did not write the book, especially if, if that is. Yeah. I hope it is someone who was just like not that online and they just did that as a joke and then just never, you know, like all those like YouTube accounts that exist that have like one popular video and just never post it again. I hope it's like that. They don't even know that their video who, has a million views. It's like I the think it's someone who, who wrote a troll fic and then clearly elected that the best decision was to never let anyone know, especially like prospective employers. Yeah, I can get behind that thinking actually. Maybe they just, they put the thing out and then moved to China and haven't really read it since. Yeah. Oh, well, she did want everyone to see uh, New Moon, though. That's true. No. Where would be more remote? Yeah. Most remote place? I don't know. The Highlands. <laughs> another, th another. Th it was either Sarah Z or, or Red Bard that said, "Oh, we think she's from Dubai because she says ah, I'm w. going to dub ya or something." But like, isn't that just Washington? Could be anything. I thought mm -hmm. it was the president. Yeah, that's the... Trump just got indicted. Ooh. Ooh. Did he get indicted? Great. I placed an indictment on the sport of boxing. We should watch that as well. <laughs> the two guys arguing over a fixed fight result. Of course, nothing will happen. You can still BBC run doesn't... for president if, even if you've been indicted, right? BBC doesn't have it yet, annoyingly. Let's try Twitter. Why could the BBC don't go on Truth well, Social? if it literally just happened. I hope so. Because... He's it... going to make indictment great again. Is that voice Enrico? Oh yeah, Donald Trump will be charged with a crime yeah. over hush money paid to a porn star. Is the actual wording, charged with a crime? Yeah. That's the most boring crime to be charged with. BBC breaking news. Like, who cares? He's not gonna, oh, like, this could nothing be good. tangible is going to happen. It's state crimes, but no, I, I think I agree because they don't want to set the precedent of imprisoning a president. <sighs> Fuck. Because then what's to stop them just doing that to Biden for, you know, yeah. other but Oh my god, I forgot about this one. You and then for Obama, for other reasons, for, like, not having a real birth certificate or whatever they can make up. Mm. The slippery slope. Yeah. Of course, they all really should be in jail, but that's besides the point. Ugh. Yeah, but you can't you can't have the Potemkin village fall apart. Ooh. I think they fucked it. They might have fucked it actually. It's not over yet. Oh. Aww, knock it in. Tap it in. Tap it. Billy. Oh. Ah. Dickhead. <clears throat> Elliot has copied my name on Facebook, so she's called No, and she's put her profile picture to like a drawing of me. And it it's is like unnerving. reverse identity theft. Wow. No, that's pretty clear identity theft. She even messaged me like, "Oh, who am I?" <laughs> it's she like, has like a serial the killer exact message. same kind of humor as you. Like, <laughs> she's just you again. Just another Stephen. Uh, yeah. This time they're called Elliot. Meltdowns and everything. Uh. But yeah, this this could Aww. have. Assuming that he does the pair plot, this could end up being a funnier day than when you went to the hospital with COVID. No, dickhead. Which was the last funny Donald Trump day. <laughs> Don't fucking fart. That was the perfect sell. Uh, perfect sell. I got blasted from behind. What an epic That's save. Good. What's that an epic? 
No, it wasn't epic. Oh wait, I might have this. Like the other I really had this. Oh shit. Hey. Oh. It's okay. I'll just keep saving. Sorry. Oof. Did you have any Could idea when he's going to do the parrot walk? Because I do want to watch yes. that live in case someone tries to jet Rubium, which would be the that would be the ultimate funny moment. That would be no, the ultimate no, no, family no. guy funny moment. You know what they're gonna do? They're gonna they're they're gonna oh. <sighs> They're gonna. They're I gonna became <coughs> a conservative. They're gonna have someone with like a bell mm -hmm. going behind him and going shame. Yeah, okay. that's what they're gonna do. Yeah, okay. So, right, will be who wants to be a millionaire? This. Oh, one more. Okay, one more. One more. Well, until next loss, rather. Okay. One more then. Uh, what do you want to be the actual game or the documentary? Because the game itself is. I don't know, pretty pedestrian. It's a documentary on YouTube. Yeah. So you sold oh, us on yeah. this, Ben, and now you're rolling it back. Well, the game itself is just a guy coughs every once in a while, but the documentary is done by noted fucking hack job journalist uh, Martin Bashir. Who's oh. he? Uh, he interviewed Princess Diana, D Dave. Yeah. And Princess up, Dave, yes. Yeah. And Michael Jackson in that like very famous stitch up interview. Oh, yeah. Like basically, if you want if you want to do damage control, don't phone Martin Bashir. <laughs> he is the first to stab you in the back. But he does make some great content. It's like just like us. Can so we don't Trump stab. become the first president to be elected from jail? That'd be good. Oh, that'd be so funny. That'd be so yeah. funny. Like I said, funniest outcome is always the most likely. Well, this sucks. Heroes dead. And we're only one recession away from a Republican victory, so. Mm. Right, anyway, so another thing that I was thinking we could do, right? Oh, I forgot what this co the website is. They'd have to swear men in jail. They would, wouldn't they? Because he can't pardon himself, it's a state crime, so. That would be so fucking hilarious. I suspect, though, if he did go to jail, the sanctimonious would. I don't know, because he could, he could play it. He could Nelson Mandela it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> people, equally beloved people, I'd say. Nelson Mandela and you'd Donald Trump. You'd think that there would be something in the Constitution preventing someone who is literally in jail for being president. But... Uh, well, I think a felon can't run. But, like, a state crime's not a felony, so... And no. well, it's so good the, the protection of the Constitution is that they would obviously impeach someone who is so clearly guilty, so... Duh. Oh yeah, right. Eugene V. Debs are in for president from jail, that is correct. There was a great tweet back in the day. Um, I think it was the first impeachment, maybe? Where, like, the Republicans all voted on party lines. Mm -hmm. And the Senate, the Senate was like, I think it was like 48, 52 at the time or something like that. Yeah. And and someone made a tweet saying, um, the only way all the Republican senators wouldn't vote 52, 48 for Trump is if <sighs> he shot and killed one of them in the Senate, in which case the vote would be 51, 48. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> See what you want about Republicans. They fucking, they do fucking party loyalty. I'm sorry, Dorian. Uh, one Jacob Zuma. <laughs> I don't know. I, I'm, just, I'm saying the ones like ah. Cyril Ramaphosa. That's all of them, isn't it? Because there's only been like three. <laughs> We've got to get back. And yeah, it's a bit of a mugger to go after you lose Mandela, sadly. <laughs> We're not going to lose. Who voted to forfeit? <laughs> <clears throat> We're going to easily win now. Watch. Goal number one coming right now. Oh, Holy shit. Right. <coughs> oh, it's been a while since we had that. Jacob Zuma. He was recent? He, well, there's only been, like I said, I think there's only been three South African president, presidents. Is yeah, South Africa yeah, like a situation where like Have I the ANC Sorry, I'm yeah. Jacob Zuma. pretty Mark's much win every election? Is that how there it works? There have been five? Oh, fucking hell. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. Like, it is pretty much an ANC hegemony, yes. isn't it? Yeah. Over there. <clears throat> I 
Oh, oh get in. Oh, oh there was a corrupt scumbag who did his entire reign. Yes, I've heard. Didn't he like build his own house or something with government funds? Which, you know, it's pretty cool. Oh, it'd be good if like he actually built it like... What, with his own hands? Like, with his hands, yeah. No. Like Carter would have. Oh. <laughs> oh, How's he not dead yet, shame. by the way? He went to hospice like a month ago. Like, you're not meant to go to hospice and then like not die. It's kind of defeating the purpose. <laughs> I don't think there's a timeline on hospice. Like, I, I, like every time I see like a celebrity going into hospice, it means like okay, they're gonna die in the next like week or so. But he's been like chillaxing. Like he's probably watched like thirty people come and go, and he's like, "Yep, I'm all right." Just plugging away. Thabo and Becky apologize for. for Butchering the pronunciation. Nope, no. Nah. Was he like president for like a day or something? Because I, I only remember Oof. those two. You fail. Ah, right. President for a year. Melanthi. Oh, right. That was the thing that I got distracted about, and I was going to say the thing. Right. So, um, I don't know if any of you follow the <clears throat> YouTuber Aziz. Nope. He's just like. She just like you know she she's someone who does like deep dive sort of things into like old cringe culture and ends every video by going, I think it was okay. What do you think? Please leave comments in the the, the comments. You know, get old cringe in. culture. You're saying, oh, she's gonna yeah. do something on us eventually. This video is sponsored by nine that makes years. Phone cases. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so so she did a video on uh, movie star planet. Are you using it? Ever heard of that? Wow. Ah. That was a good one. I have sure. not. Uh, what a fast day on a Friday night. Apart from being stoned, then I was the least day. worst and denied days. Wow, that's a, and he's and he's <laughs> your least worst, apart from I imagine Nelson Mandela. So, Movie Star Planet is like it was basically just a website for teenagers where they made terrible videos, and it was also a social media site. So and there are loads of YouTube videos that are basically just sad, like supposed sad stories and they're just extremely dramatic and very poorly animated and I thought we could like uh, watch them. They'd be good. I'm not watching YouTube Fucking poops hell. by the back door. <laughs> not YouTube poops. Oh, I had no boost. I was trying to whack you into the whack in the ball. I had no boost. Too. Remember Gold when one. white people used to mock oh. Nelson Mandela's accent on Mock the Week and now they're all talking about um, <clears throat> how they're the least racists ever? Remember the Mandela effect? Maybe he's not dead. Maybe it's his Mandela effect 2.0 and he is still present Aaron, in South Africa. Items. How old would he be now if he was still alive? He must be like, he'd be like 110 or something. Wouldn't he? Oh, oh there's like a really good story about Mandela um, when the World Cup came to South Africa, right? Right. So, Mandela's doing like this promotional video thing, right? right. I think our, I think Is our. Is this the him trying to do the do 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 do? Yeah, oh, and right. he couldn't do it, so they had to edit in them doing it. Mm -hmm. And I just thought that was amazing because it's like the most like ubiquitous clapping rhythm in football, and he and he didn't he, he just didn't get it. Wait, he's doubling down on the denying AIDS thing. God damn. <laughs> What is George Galloway L? Oh, no, I don't want to see that. Well, you know, you can't see AIDS. Nelson Mandela is definitely dead, Ben. Are you sure? really small. <laughs> 2013. I know he, I know he died. <laughs> I was just, I was doing a bit. How old would he have didn't been? He die, so he, di he, was he, he died, he died shortly after he Thatcher, died. didn't he? Yeah, I think he outlived Maggie by a little bit. Yeah, he, he had to yeah. see that through, but um, yeah, that's at least that's something we have all managed to do. We have all outlived Thatcher, and that is fundamentally a good thing. Uh, what was I looking at? He was ninety-five, so add ten years, he would have been a hundred and five if he was still alive. But he's not, so <laughs> it's kind of an academic point. Anyway, let's watch a he Who Wants to Be a Millionaire documentary. Then. You lasted a fair bit then. So, for those not in the know, aka anyone not in the UK, this is a documentary about the guy who cheated at Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. 
Yeah, he had his friend and his wife in the audience, and they would cough when the right answer came up. Don't spoil it, but yeah. <laughs> this is the documentary on it. It's about it's an hour and 14 minutes, so it's pretty spry. I still don't know how they knew the answers. Well, they just knew. And you'll see. You'll see how they know some of them. <laughs> Literally no South African thinks the Mandela's... Yeah, of course they wouldn't know, because... Like, the... <laughs> I feel like if we didn't like if if like Tony yeah, Blair died. Cre- no, he's not as blood. He's not. So South Africans yeah. created the Mandela effect. Who's That's a beloved? Like, It'd be like if the Queen died and we didn't know about it. But like the Queen, as you know, is still alive. Like I've heard nothing to. S- Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> the BBC is interrupting its normal programs to bring you. An important announcement. This is BBC News from London. Buckingham Palace has announced the death of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. In a statement, the palace said the Queen died peacefully at Balmoral this afternoon. The King and the Queen Consort will remain at Balmoral this evening and will return to London tomorrow. BBC Television is broadcasting this special programme, reporting the death of Her Majesty the Queen. I can't believe this news just broke. I know, it's shocking. Balmoral I didn't see it coming. Balmoral is the Queen's private castle in Scotland to differentiate from her private castle. Castles. She was the first like monarch to die in Scotland for like 800 years. What about the cause of Scotland? Yeah, probably. Like, she looked fine. Yeah, Like, probably. I hear myself. Like she looked fine. Why do I hear myself? I think Paul might have B2 on. Alright. So you can have B1. Uh, no, I'll just stream my... B1, whatever. Yeah, uh, so the Queen died, sorry. That was that was bad timing. I was just talking about her. She's still alive, just like Mandela. Yeah, who is who is also still alive. Do we have the? Oh, I should put the Mandela death in our two months as well, and the Thatcher one, and just Diana chain them as well, together. Fuck it. Both them all at the same time. Yeah. A very busy news day. <laughs> I'll I'll save you the bother of the Thatcher death announcement. Like here it is. It's just this is it. <laughs> that cracks Elliot and Luke up so fucking much. Well, the crabs. Video. The crabs <laughs> and the queen dies. Mm. Every time Crab Rave is on, they're like, look, the, this is what this is what they're like when the, the queen dies in Scotland. God. Oh, I'm sorry. Ireland. Sorry, in Ireland too. Yeah. They don't give a fuck about Scotland, Stephen. Yeah, no, no. Elliot and Luca do, I think you'll find. They even have slightly Scottish accents because their daddy's from Scotland. A card to my daddy. They do a wee bit. They fucking don't. They really don't. I don't even have a Scottish accent. Right. Uh, let Luca me... just narrates everything, which is still one of the best things I've ever heard in my life. Right, uh, document me up, maybe. Yeah, Wait, I'm... what is happening right now? What are, what is happening? <laughs> oh, Elves will... El... Er... What? <laughs> no. <laughs> anyway. How do I pop out this fucking chat here? I don't know. There we go. How, how do you pop out this fucking chat here? You click on pop out chat. Yeah, Emotions. I did that and it just blanked itself for some reason, so I had oh, to keep the stream. I did to mine too, but it, it came back. Here we go. I could swear when I read the first suggestion in your sidebar there, it said, Who shot Judith Keppel? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I should make this visible for the chat as well. Notions. 
Oh, just because from SA soldier to Brad Pitt's bodyguard, extraordinary lives, lad Bible, the Bible for just because he's listed there. A reminder, Brad Pitt, piece of shit. Bible for lads. I remember when Lad Bible was basically copying from Reddit. Remember before when it was copying from Reddit, when it was basically just like a fucking toxic cesspit of misogyny. Has it changed? Slightly. It used to be, but it is too. <laughs> Hang on, Six String Steve. No, I'm thinking Six. I'm thinking that's a different YouTube enti channel entirely. No. Let's play this fucker. Right. Are you all ready for the major fraud documentary? George Galloway L. I'll put the subtitles on as well. They might not be accurate. I think they're auto-generated, so. But they're all speaking the king's English, so. It it's odd fine. that every that everyone in the documentary speaks in like fucking like inner Birmingham. Let's go. Oh, Music. Very loud. Very loud. Holy very shit, loud. Oh, wait. Hold very on. loud. I'm going to turn up a bit for the How cheat. How do I make this not be... There we go. Oh, I got it. It seemed like the perfect crime. I'm going to play Google. Yeah. Okay, Google. <laughs> and for a while, it looked like it might just have worked. £500,000. <laughs> You no longer have that. You just won one million. Oh my god, he got it! I can't believe it. Legitimately won one million pounds. Game show. Legitimately. Statistically, that is a very low probability of happening normally on the show, and he he didn't do that. Come on, my come on. Tonight, for the first time, we can show you how they did it. And how they got caught. And how they and got. How they got. <laughs> I guess they never got caught up there is. <laughs> That's good. We've got Let me know if the audio needs any rejiggering chat. We've got oh god, I would have gone out on this question. I don't fucking know it. Rob dog. Think it's bad. Rob dog. And don't you rob dog. <laughs> This is the dramatic story of the Who Wants to Be a Millionaire major fraud. So is this the document? Is this? Is this the documentary? Is this the documentary that says that he might have not done it? No, no, that's did? the TV show, the ITV drama. Okay. This is just straight up hit job. No doubt in their mind. British television, by hook or by crook. It was here in this. The tales are pretty good. Eight yeah, because he's speaking the king's English. Every move by the major, his wife, and their accomplice. Yes, the U.S. engineers to, are very good. And we're enough. going to talk to Princess Diana about what she thought. Guilty cough. We've isolated their soundtrack so that you can hear them clearly, just as the jury did during the trial. Tonight, we show you the evidence and reveal the major fraud. Uh, it's because he's a major. That's good. Well done. They were really proud of that major fraud pun. I think we say it so many times. With Diana's yeah, it was up on the screen and everything. I can't believe he won two days before Christmas. What a bastard. He won a few days before 9-11 and they mention that in the drama. Why? Because there's just a bit where they all just like pause and look at the TV because 9-11's happening and then it just goes back to the show. With a check for 32. Well, like, fucked up that, wasn't it? Your dad's 50%. 32 pounds. 50 hunch. Final answer. Yes, final answer. <laughs> became 500 there. It's the wrong oh, answer. No. So this is the wife's brother. It's September in America. It's uh, September uh, in Canada. September. Oh, I tell you what, though. It's been great to have you. I've really I've enjoyed having you. I'm so cool at season. At last, after over two years of trying, Adrian Pollock goes back to the Vale of Glamorgan to tell mm -hmm. his family Adrian Daddy's Pollock. got £32,000. Like Thirty-two grand is, is solid. He was already on thirty-two grand, wasn't he? So, yeah. Charles Ingram appears on the couple's show. Brian Downs from Somerset. Now, this is Diana Ingram, a nursery a nurse from Swindon, watching at home his husband Charles. A bit of a nursery nurse. Coaching pays off. Up in the audience is her brother Adrian. Now, 
And after some 300 phone calls to the show, Diana Ingram's in the... Over the documentary. Oh, is the documentary too loud? <laughs> you could have told me that. Have a look at question number 11. It's for 64. Is that cool? It's over the... It doesn't sound like a Bashir. They've been here. They've been here. They were all that Have a look. It's question number 11. You might yeah. play it, whatever. You can't lose it. You've got 32,000. Who would, have th who would have thought that in Britain, people from the same family would always get on everything good ever? It's almost as if we had a massive class problem, as fucking usual. No, there was a whole well, thing about, like, there was a way to cheat your way onto the show. Before they all came up. Ring yeah. 300 times, apparently. Yeah, the phone yeah. a lot. But there was, like, this whole consortium on how to get in and stuff like that. Because the prize money was just so fucking high that it was yeah. worth it. Yes. Oh, I thought I could just make a, a comment about class. Again. Yeah. Sleep with Chris Tarn. You kept back one lifeline. You desperately wanted to meet your brother. You've stayed in exactly the same place as your brother. You're still on thirty-two thousand pounds. And falls somewhat less gracious. Again, sixty-four thousand off the show was enough. So thirty-two thousand pounds times thirty-two thousand pounds. Yep. They both got thirty-two grand, but it's not enough. And he's a major. I know how much majors get paid because of my line of work, and it's a lot. I really want. And as a major, he'll have grown up in an extremely uh, well-off family. Yeah, and he must have like both had won to really like spend money on things. <laughs> no, according to the independent, burning a hundred and five thousand pounds is not a lot. Oh, I mean, she went away very disappointed uh, with thirty-two thousand pounds. So I remember talking to her in the bar afterwards, and I said, "Great, congratulations." She said, yeah, "Only thirty-two. And I said to her, "It's a huge amount of money." She went, "Yes, but I should have done more. I should have beaten my brother and all this." Fifteen questions, three life. God, I fucking hate rich people. No, he was an army major. He worked in the army. Let's like, play. Who wants proper to be real deal? He 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 did the army. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Charles. Question number one for legitimate minted, probably. Well, which of these? Make, would make you a more or less more casual with crimes. Clothes dog. Clothes horse. Clothes dog. <laughs> clothes pig. Um, that's a clothes horse, Chris. It's the right answer, you got £100. God, we actually use that word in this house as well. Yeah, clothes horse. Yeah, it's the horse that you put clothes on. You don't have a horse. I thought, it was just, I thought it was just a weird word that, like, okay, my family and no one else used, but okay, fair enough. What name is given to a person who is against... The colouring on his shirt Boris Johnson! Strange. Sorry. <laughs> a total cockwomble. <laughs> You're a vision. I have fond uh, memories of waiting up till late at night on Channel 4 to watch Euro Trash. Euro Dash Skeptic. Okay, Bet no, he's no. a fucking Euro Skeptic. No, he's not. He's, he's got a Twitter account. He still professes his innocence. He's really pro Remain. <laughs> Garden Flower? Like, Ugh. that's the thing he tweets about the most. Ugh. Some staff Disgusting. Are concerned as soon as the Major takes the hot seat. He's right on, he's got £300. <laughs> Diana Ingram's younger brother, I, I'm not sure I've got that. Might have done. <laughs> <laughs> that Jesus. Silly. Yeah, I like the dramatic music for introducing <laughs> members of staff. <laughs> um, and he was outside the studio on his mobile phone, which mobile phones aren't allowed sort of in the studio area. So I. All right, so you're going to see their first attempt to wind it up. Um, where I'm full, okay. Chris Burke. <laughs> Chris Burke! Just approached him and said, excuse me, sir. Chris Burke, the, the former Scotland winger. Phone. Oh, um, different if you one. want to make a phone call, I can get someone to escort you off site and uh, you can make as many phone calls as you wish or would you please go back in the studio, take your seat. When I went back downstairs about 10, 15 minutes later, he was back outside on his mobile again. And as soon as he saw me, he went straight back in to the studio. Uh, at which point I asked one of our security God, so they were actually really bad at it as well. Recording. So yeah, their first plan was like vibrating devices, and he had to go out and like manually phone. Four vibrating oh, okay. phone pages could have signalled the right answer. I think that the, uh, the the question and the options would have been transmitted via Marcus Powell's uh, open mobile. Ah, Doctor uh, Ian Williamson. Yeah, I believe that the person at the other end with access to detective sergeant. 
then sexual Odds on and has police, been eh? expelled for racism. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> or or sexual assault. And then that person could either if, if Ian will, if Detective Sergeant Ian Williams is watching this, that was all alleged. <laughs> that was all a joke. <laughs> that was all a parody. So for now, Charles Ingram's on his own, and the five hundred yes, questions well, he's yeah. bound to get right. Question number four, then for five hundred quid, no problem so far. Here it is. He's still a DS at the Metropolitan Police. Army regiment. You're getting it wrong. Probably gets paid a lot. So. You're getting it wrong, though. Charles Major. Which of these is the nickname? And I know this because he has a LinkedIn. Black cat. People are going to know this. Black widow. Black Watch. My favourite pastime. Yeah. Black Watch. Yeah. Black Watch. Yeah. Hmm. Um, Black Watch, Chris. Not Black Widow. <laughs> no, definitely not. Black Cat? It's the right no. answer. You've got £500. <laughs> yeah, you don't Black exist Watch. anymore either. It's the last time the Major can go home with nothing. Probably a good thing. I've done one person who was in it and he was a fucking psycho. In 1066, Who? Spoke Mom's boyfriend. German. Norwegian. What on earth was that? French. No. Danish. Linden sound the same. Normans. But he's no intention of leaving empty handed. It's got to be Norwegian, right? It's French. Yeah, final answer. Re oh, I read Nor the Norwegians who invaded the continent. <laughs> <laughs> the Normans, yeah. On the next you know, Vikings, I thought, yeah. I don't know. I'm tired. Go away. Remember the family honour, Charles? Absolutely. Family honour. Right, Shut pounds. the fuck up. Well, he had the other two that were fuck ups, that's why. Have he has to beat six. that 32 grand. Yeah, imagine only getting 32 yeah, grand. You know this one. Yeah. Oh, 32, 32 grand in 2001 money as well. What have you last seen? I could finally buy that Excel Saga volume for 32 grand. I know. Sorry. Okay, no, have a look at it. Have a look at it. Work out what you want to do. Coronation... He is absolutely fucking shiting himself. He knows. Because he's got six vibrating anal beads and <laughs> like <laughs> four just for the answers and two for fun. I really haven't got a scoop. Oh, fuck. You know this, Vati? Wow. It's 2001, Band. isn't it? 2001, yeah. Right before 9-11. It's worth 55,000 now. Yep. I know this already. I will kind of watch soaps as a guilty pleasure. I find them quite amusing. I hate them. I can't. Always the same stories because there's only so many things you can They're do. They're great. It's just so I like watching to see what Phil mad. Mitchell gets up to because he's the greatest mm. living actor on British TV. But you know apart from that. Does he know he's an actor? In Coronation Street, who is it? like when he was on crack. B is Gale. You put that on after. Phil Mitchell's crack. I think answer is Gale. Gale. Yeah, that he said. Gale. I didn't even see that. I said no. Just... I, I know Coronation favorite. Street X attack on Titan. Oh, thank you. Janice is married to Les. Uh, Sally is what he calls her husband. Same guy. The mechanic. Percent uh, Linda. Four percent Sally. No idea. Do you still do you still watch the soaps, Aaron? No, my only don't watch any soaps. Um, my <laughs> only connection to Coronation Street is a, do a dog used to howl when the Coronation Street theme played. So I'll go for. Um, <laughs> that's all I know about it. I can't remember what they said. I think it was Gail. It's said Gail. Yeah, yeah. Gail. Okay. Eighty-nine right. percent um, of them said Gail. Right, I'll run with Gail. You. Even though you never heard yeah, of it. Never heard of it. Here's just a bit of a windbag. <laughs> okay. Um, I'll answer. go with Gail, yeah. It's a bit of a major fraud. We got there. <laughs> <laughs> the one that I did watch briefly was Hollyoaks, because it had, like, a stereotypically emo kid in it. Hollyoaks was wild. Is the audio good by the way, chat, or do I need to make it quieter or louder? England. Hollyoaks is what you get if you crossed, like, a normal soap with skins or something. Yes. I've never heard of it. Over foil. That's going to be Some Northern days. Ireland, Ireland, right? Yeah. yeah. Charles Ingram's having to use his second lifeline. He doesn't know shit. Well, he's not very smart. That's his other problem. <laughs> he didn't really have much going on. But he's a he's major. You'd think he'd know a bit of UK geography, but. Uh, Gerald. say he's from England. He hasn't a clue about Northern Ireland. What if, like, yeah. the North was being invaded? And he was like, the Not river. The Nazis are sailing up the River Foyle. And he's like, what? <laughs> They're sailing in Wales? <laughs> Shit. Quick. It's, it seems. It, it looks as though the major was parachuted into a position well above his station. He was struggling oh, quite a bit, what actually. Fraud. <laughs> what so, major fraud? He got up to four thousand uh, pounds. I asked, what you, what? I but I got no answer, so I'm going to ask again. How is the audio for so the documentary? Is it too quiet, too loud? Evening. Valley manager. 
Just what do you manage? I manage floors. Final audio is fine. Audio is fine. It's the right answer. Is that your final answer, Vi? Yes, I have picked it. <laughs> yes, I have picked it. I'm proud of that one. <laughs> so major, did you spend? So major, did you spend any time in Northern Ireland in the nineties? Oh, we oh, need to interrupt the show. I've just been informed 9/11 is happening. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you still got a 50 clearly on his own. Away from the next big milestone. Don't British soldiers being in Northern Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> You've struggled to that point. What? You know, you might be going home with 16,000, maybe 32. There's no way. Imagine Chris Tarrant asking, asking, did you spend any time in Northern Ireland in the 90s? Unless, you know, an incredibly oh, lucky run of questions. But oh, did yeah, you have any God. trouble there, Major? <laughs> that wouldn't be what you'd expect to happen, really. He'd floundered through, but I think he had one. Daddy, like you have that. access to the LRM game. You can get all the apples you want from L. He's got as much. Speaking of apples, I made my own apple tonight. You know, it's going to the moon in a rocket. I mean, he, is that like Stockholm syndrome? I could, could possibly go much further, and I could see his wife. No, I just wanted an apple. Him, sort of frowning at him. I thought, oh God, and he's got his little girls and his promising ponies and all this. Okay, fingers crossed for uh, next promise. time earlier on tonight. But, but there's an unlikely saviour on the way. Army Major Charles this guy's fucking name, by the way. Of the good news, he still has one lifeline remaining. It's new too. Tonight. Let's see who'll be joining us then. <laughs> Morris Brom. Tequin Witter. Yeah. <laughs> Tequin Wick. Yeah. I love it. I uh, love it. The co-conspirator. Cool they fucking spelled his name correctly in the subtitles. The major They're scan. Amazing. Then this scan. <laughs> oh my god, shut up, Bashir. Major fraud. Major fraud. Major fraud. <laughs> Did you know that the TV show is called Major Fraud? As the show oh, begins September 10th, 2001, I fucking oh. told you. Oh. Right, here's the new plan. This, this is the real fucking plan now. Not the vibrating anal beats, he's got the real plan. Then any of them dead, imagine. Contestant returning from Saturday, Charles Ingram is here in the hot seat, a position he may well have been in before. Because you're a military man. Indeed. Yeah. Morning, Major. Morning, sure. Faulty. Because um, this, like, the cheating thing didn't come out for, like, a month afterwards for obvious reasons, well, because... <laughs> and the episode never aired either, did it? Like, yeah, September 2000. Yeah, I'd say this episode. is equally as bad as what happened in the US, yes. in terms of severity. <laughs> um, <laughs> they were fighting for the news time. <laughs> We're going on the counter attack tonight, everybody. Uh, Gary Glitter just got out a couple of weeks ago. Fair and now he's right. back in. <laughs> he's back in, yeah. Oh, he, breached his, he breached his terms. He tried to get on the dog web. Well, you only get in the chair once, don't you? So uh, Remember the you might as well make the most of it. In course. But it's amazing. You'd think, like, the one thing he would not do is try and do that again, but he literally could not do that. She's caught on camera. He's been in prison for like 20 years, I'd imagine. He couldn't face the sort of living outside at this stage. Have you seen that documentary, Shawshank Redemption? I'm surprised no one's killed him yet in prison. He must be, like, very protected. Um, and he was a he was an old like and we were we were the thing is, is that I he struck you as a determined he does a wee bit actually he struck me as being very focused so he doesn't sound like my dad food, though I have to say um, yeah perfectly Hello, Chris doesn't. but um, I think he like did I ever tell you the story place. about um, when my when there was a guy in Big Brother called Cameron. He's got eight yes. questions to go until the million. Where was he from? <laughs> Cameron was from Scotland and he looked yeah. like my dad because people kept saying to him, You look like Cameron from Big Brother. Uh, like Dundee and that. And then, and then once we were, uh, we were on holiday in Cornwall and dad went for a walk and apparently a guy went and said you look like cameron from big brother and dad went yeah people have said that and then he goes wow scottish you know holy shit who was the second husband of he does. jacqueline kennedy he does i know this no. answer and not because i've seen this document Adnan Khashoggi. michael jackson oh. ronald reagan aristotle <clears throat> rupert murdoch he doesn't look like my dad at all as someone who's only seen your dad yeah, briefly, um, I'm not certain. It's a I first would absolutely say that was your dad. <laughs> right here comes the coughs. He looks more like um. He looks more like John Barrowman. The Aristotle Anassis. <coughs> that <coughs> coughs oh. from Tech. <laughs> You're hearing it in isolation, as the jury did. Much clearer than it would sound. Tegan Wick is on it. That's the plan to cough 
after Ingram reads out the right answers. Jacqueline Kennedy wasn't made. Yeah, he got cut out of Spice World. The worst, the worst consequence of, of what happened in it. The thing about Gary Glitter is that he did a Christmas song that was on all the Christmas compilations, and I swear we still heard it in primary school after he got done because it was on an old compilation. Oh, definitely. One of my sub strategies. Gary Glitter is a notorious pedophile. <laughs> that's that's all. I, yeah, and former musician. And Paul is talking about him. <laughs> Pretty confident it's Aristotle. He's, he's the Ian Watkins of the older generation. Did I say former paedophile? Active paedophile, sorry. Cur former musician yeah, and active paedophile. Yeah. yeah. He got done for downloading it, <laughs> went to jail, then fled to like Asia and literally molested girls there. And yeah, it was all a big thing. And he was executed. They considered executing him. That would have been, that would have been good, but they didn't. Yeah, my he missed was the first coffin to, to, because of to Paul Ingram, being obsessed um, with a paedophile. <laughs> when our floor assistant said to me, there's something strange going on. And that was really the first time that I'd focused at what was going on on the set. Uh, Adrian's uh, hairline is, is uh, departing. You're two away from an important milestone of 32,000. And it's actually important in more ways than one. Let's have a look, though, at question number nine. <sighs> Emmental is a cheese from which country? France. France. Italy, Netherlands, Switzerland. Netherlands I think. This is the only time all night the major gets the right answer without a little help from his friends. Oh, yeah. I haven't tells the holy one. That's the always joke we love you from. <laughs> I'd like to go for Switzerland. Is Swiss, but but isn't it? it Switzerland. Uh, I don't know. I know nothing about cheese. Oh, this is. Does he say all the answers like really slowly? Well, this one he knows. Okay. As Martin Bashir just said. <laughs> Again, he lists the other I'm here. just in case, but there's no need for a cough from Whittock. Yeah, it could be France, I suppose. Then again, it could be Italy, so... Um, oh my god, it's so it. transparent. <laughs> yeah. That's sort of how the question works, Charles. No, I got it. <laughs> do you think... Do you think he thought at that point that he might be doing it? No, apparently, I think he says it in the document. Chris Tarrant had no fucking clue. No <laughs> clue. I imagine he's busy being a presenter, Brian. Yeah, I think that's what he says, basically. Yeah, he's the major knows so focused he's on the show. Finally. Like, you know, you, you need to have that talent to say, is that your final answer? And we don't want to give you that, you know? Why did you think it was Switzerland? Well, I just recall Emmental. You say that, but like. Did a lot, and, uh, <laughs> you know. I'm sure it had Made in Switzerland or something written on it. <laughs> Swiss Left wing destroyed. <laughs> yes. Any cheese is blue if you're brave enough. Is, but it's working, you've just got 16,000 pounds. Even yeah, I don't know why Bemidji came out as the word <laughs> yeah. Sets antenna. That was a code. The acoustics within, <laughs> that was part um, of the, the major the, fraud. What I call the bowl Sets antennae twitching, that's such a cute metaphor, I like that one. And um, I was watching antennas the are twitching. Other side. So at this point, there was absolutely no suggestion of, of, of any coughing or any noises whatsoever. This was just simply me now focused on the monitor, but kind of removed from the production of the program. I'd become so suspicious that something untoward was going on um, that I then said to our, our floor manager that I wanted to find out whether we could search Major Ingram when he came off the set. Found 17 anal beats. My, my boss Adrian Wolf came running across the studio. <laughs> and one sounding rod. And um, <laughs> he said, we have a problem. And uh, but Adrian Wolf, so we had to let him go. <laughs> having then been told that he believed there was something funny going on with the contestant in the hot seat. They were just uh, standard we anal beats. I was by a monitor, so I was able to see the way the man was playing the game. And also, I was able to stand behind the cameras looking directly at him and see for myself that it was unusual, if not... It's obsession with wearing ties. And the way he was attempting to answer the questions and the way he finally uh, chose... Wearing a tie reduces the amount of oxygen he gets to your brain, so it makes you think that wearing a tie again is a good idea. £32,000, the third yeah. question of the night and a critical moment in the major fraud. Oh, again? <laughs> Major fraud. Major the dam is perfectly safe. Oh, here we go. Who had a hit UK album with Born to Do It? 
released in 2000. It is correct. I, I, I would have known this already. Top loader. Goal play was on that. A1. Craig David. Craig David. Number up. Yeah. I actually did that. Another not when he funny first thing. It on Rocket League. <laughs> oh, did you? I'm not sure, I'm afraid. Um, born to do it. Again, the guy who created that joke was a deeply unpleasant man. Yeah. Who wasn't ever funny. Just, I don't honestly know for sure. He was. Disaster. The major Lee Francis. And neither does Wittock. Gotta Google. The plan's okay. out oh. the window. So neither of them know the answer. I think it's A1. It's not. Ah, uh, no, he was not funny. Fun. He was just mean. Top hey, loader are like an 80s person. band. He's not funny. I just can't. No, top loader are not an 80s band. They did dancing and um, dancing. I fucking hate that song. Everybody's dancing. Is it? All right. Thanks for that. 97 to 2003. Is that another anxious look to take six years? A fun fact about Dancing in the Moonlight by Top Loader is that it spent an extraordinary amount of time in the UK Top 40 and I think it only got as high as like 18. I liked it, but it's a, just a cover. <laughs> is that a cover? And again, yeah. it seems she's looking to yeah. Twitter. Didn't know that. The two answers left were Craig David, who he admitted to have never heard of, and A1 who he had been gunning for all along, it's and when dog. those oh, two answers Gasping for were left, he said, well, that doesn't give me um, any help, which, hang on a second. Mr. Brightside, you, you should along, look at the, and you, you the didn't chart know Craig David, history so from Mr. Brightside. Gone, oh, it must be A1. Come on, it's I'll amazing. Like I do, I'll do so, fine. No, the man was playing a different game to anything I've ever seen. Theoretically, A1 did the best song of those four artists. Set on the A1, wrong answer uh, and needs help. Here. But they no one did the down. song about they did the song about sex and they also did a cover of Take On Me, which was actually all right. Never heard of Craig Day. You can only do a cover of Take On Me Maybe if your band begins with the letter. I got you to Google the last day for his hair, the hairline. Oh, yeah. awesome. Unaware her every move's recorded, it looks like huh? Diana Ingram's preparing to help out. <laughs> if so, she's I taking noticed. a massive no, no, no. gamble. Who had a Didn't hit album with Born Did you see the guy behind her coffin as well? Like mocking her. David. No. How old are your daughters? Um, 11, 9, and 6. You know. 9 and 11, you see. <laughs> <laughs> they will. They'll be at home screaming the answer now. Um, A1! Daddy, it's A1! It's A1, Daddy! I was going to make a joke about the number of planes, but there's more. Four, wasn't it? Their kids are actually very class conscious and don't want him to win loads of money because his family already won loads of money. No, they've already asked for ponies. Yeah, that's true. And you only need 32 grand for that. His wife seems to check the studio televisions. Diana Ingram's not on screen, but the cameras are still rolling. You've got 16,000 pounds. This is great. I think I'll go it must it. be very awkward for whoever goes on the show with the person That's who's it. actually going to be taking part. Because they're going to have a person sitting with the cameras staring at them for the entire time. She must know he's wrong. Someone's sitting with a TV camera about a meter and a half away from you, just pointed at your face the entire time. One of those is worth thirty-two thousand. One of them. Would... How many off probably only think lasts like twenty minutes, unless it's like this shite <laughs> where he's just stalling. Hey, Still, hey, there must be like a, hey, they must have their own secret off cut of everyone picking their nose. Diana coughs twice. Is that a clue? She coughed after Craig David. Yeah. Yep. Has he heard? Craig David's the correct answer. Final answer. No. <laughs> yeah, we got it wrong. Are we on the main strategy? You're the sub strategy. Oh, we're on the main strategy. Here's your, yeah. here's your we're campaign. Slight, slight detour at the moment. Yeah. Okay. God, he's absolutely <laughs> fucking shitting himself. You can take sixteen thousand. It seems he's heard all right. And his wife is coming across as a deeply unpleasant person as well. Yes. Of the time, I'm wrong when I get. I know that. Like, listen, wait, hold saying, on. But... Listen to this justification because it fucking rules. I mean, I'm 80 percent of the time I'm wrong when I guess. So, no, I'll go Craig David. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you say wrong, so I guess the opposite. Yeah. But his wife's yeah. been spotted, and the Ingrams are. Yeah, in that is the point at which it's fucking obvious. No, there's one coming up that's like the smoking gun. 
Huh. It's like the 250. It's the one where they get like very obviously greedy. Major fraud. Major fraud. Wait, wait. What was what's this show called again? On the thirty-two thousand pound question, it looks like Diane has taken a massive gamble. <laughs> Clearly, it's major fraud. He wants to be a millionaire. Mrs. Ingram. I didn't realise that there was like a whole cabal of people helping him. I thought it was just one guy. Oh no. Um, to get him on the show, that was like a different thing. They didn't help him like. Mm. Cheap. And there was enough concern for production. But there's like a cabal to get people on the show just because you're guaranteed to win. To rewind the tape. Damn good money. Back at it. No, but like I, I thought it was just one person helping him with the answers. I didn't realise it was his wife as well and wife. the random Welsh guy. Mm -hmm. On the night, mm -hmm. the recording is stopped because there's concern, suspicion. Yes, yes, there was some cause for concern. But not enough. He looks like he's. Uh, he looks like. Um... No one's yet spotted Whittock. Welcome back to the second part of tonight's Who Wants to Be a Millionaire this Tuesday night. There was something in the air that was all a bit strange. And when I did come down to the studio, the um, you know the crew, some of them were just sort of shaking their heads, going, "Something's definitely going on." Just before the break, uh, Major Charles Ingram here was on sixteen thousand pounds. He said his own words. He'd never heard of Craig David. Uh, See, the timing on that is going to make me think that every time they, in the show, whenever they did that mean advert thing, it was to check the person wasn't cheating. I actually yeah. rather lost the plot of his thinking then, but basically because he reckons most of his yeah. cases are 80%. I can't argue with that. He changed his mind, knowing he'd lose £15,000 if he gave him the wrong answer. And when he knows he's, he's an idiot. Rivers, if, if they'd been a bit less obvious with this, yeah. he'd been at least slightly okay at acting. If, if they it had would been have the it. first okay, time okay. it ever happened, and it was like a better actor, then yeah, they could have probably got away with like stealing like so 32 stupid, grand or 64 grand or something. It somehow worked. I think once you get a million, that, that, you got to choose a man. that specific <laughs> bit, that <laughs> specific <laughs> bit was good acting. Right, I don't think I'll be doing that again. I think he was just genuinely relieved. Something's wrong. Mm, yeah. They got away with it. He would make some yeah. humorous comment about each other. Well, he thought he'd go away with it. <laughs> it wasn't that. Or he was certain it wasn't that. But he was doing that. Oh, oh sorry. Interstitial. Step life. forth, the cook. The cook. Lower pack. Overpriced butter. To all of them. Right, Lord right. Park, <laughs> when's, our, when's our money coming in? Where's our free butter coming the in? Real, the real major fraud is butter prices. So three efforts ago, <laughs> three before. And so it was very... See, that's not funny because it's a real thing. Has ever played the game or before or since uh, I'll make that joke for Americans. The real major fraud is egg prices. There you go. Like anywhere in the world. No, Americanized it. No, it's, no this, was not, this is not a gambler's... World record egg. Playing. It wasn't somebody who knew... The answer. There was no smile of recognition when an answer. Make a joke for the Irish. You can see some. The real fraud was house prices. You've got your way up to that thirty-two thousand pounds. Completely legit, no legitimately. But you got that basically. Yeah, you what is up with the mismatched almost. sleeves? Like fucking hell. Yeah, okay. Yeah. My wife didn't hold it. And if he'd just taken the thirty-two, they probably wouldn't have fucking bothered. The major fraud was the guy selling them that shirt. The audience, shaking ahead. She doesn't understand. <laughs> the sleeves are there to distract. <laughs> she was on the show quite a long time. Everyone's busy looking. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, actually, yeah, that was the real scam. The sleeves were somehow giving him the answers. The coughs were just the smoke screen. Yeah. And you frankly didn't believe you. So did she know it was Craig David? <laughs> He's equaled yeah, his wife. Obviously, <laughs> if she didn't, then that was a hell of a fucking <laughs> ass pull. Wouldn't it be? A I gave my husband the wrong answer, so he wouldn't beat my thirty-two thousand. <laughs> I showed him. That would actually rule. Um, yeah, probably actually. You know, no. just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. She's still that like, shaking head, but the eyes. Oh no! Head. You'll see how much like the greed overtakes them in these last five questions. Glances towards. Maybe after she won the thirty-two thousand. As she was leaving the studio, she bumped into famous celebrity Craig David, who was promoting his new album, Born to Do It. You know, probably a bit thick, but but very, you know, uh, Tim. Yeah, to grab nice, back in a second. I mean, nice, and, and that joke was so bad, Stephen just left. I mean, he was extraordinary to, to be opposite. I mean, he was amazing to be opposite. He was he was fascinating. Uh, I imagine, yeah, if if you're Chris Tarrant and you don't think he's cheating, what the fuck is this performance like? Question number eleven. Yeah. It'd be like watching the, the greatest performance of all time. 
Yeah, you'd think that, like, as a former major general guy, he'd be a lot more assured, but he just comes across as a very sort of shy, introverted man. Rugby union. Polo. Cricket. That's worth 64. Polo? I don't know. I thought it was cricket, but I can't remember. I don't know if I'm remembering the answer. <laughs> Actually, I would, actually I would probably it. say lawn tennis. But I think <coughs> it's cricket. Do you want me a coffee? But I'm not sure. Oh, wait, here. <laughs> Up oh, there, it was cricket. <laughs> lets him know he's right. Yeah, a picture, a print on, on either cigarette cards or... or, or well, at least he bullshits a bit here. Or, or, or my, I don't know, grandfather's... Yeah, he knows his right, so he can just sort of... Invent player. a story around it, yeah. But I'm not sure. And that was a cricket, they were, they were playing cricket. I wonder if they investigated the American guy's win. They must have done. Oh, yeah. Because he was just too good. But yeah, he was too good. You might as well play it. Indeed. Um, <sighs> well, this question shouldn't exist because cricket's just a made up sport. It doesn't make sense. I mean, if you think about it, all sports are made up sports. It don't make sense. No, uh, I mean, cricket's the worst one. It's like you spend the whole actually... day doing nothing. Part of human nature. <laughs> Doing this again. Sorry. Yeah, if you look at if two men become more if you look at the terms and conditions for the laws of physics, there is an entire section about like polo. even before animal husbandry, even before we even had horses, yeah. we had that gene again, to play polo. Ingram looks towards Whittock. And and very briefly in, in in human development, it was looking as though it was going to be rugby union, but they went with polo in the end. I like how he had the cough and he's still doing this bollocks. Yeah. It's just a, it's an ingrained behaviour then. Just ten feet away is there. Shut up, Wick. Is there help? It's not fair on everyone else. I'll, I'll go for cricket. Speaking of polos, right, there used to be a kind of polo that wasn't actually a polo and it was just a polo shaped jelly sweet and they were fucking amazing. Yeah, I used to, used to get them free with like copies of the Beano. They were so good. Triples. Wish they did them. I think they still do. Yeah, in like fucking Venezuela or something. I'm sure I've never heard of Craig David. <laughs> You've done pretty well. Have a look at that one. Take that one. Six polos. Yeah, they're not. Major, you're shaking, Major. <laughs> but they're not. Um, the fruit polos are like hard candy. I'm talking about like Charles Ingram's carrying jelly sweeties, like Haribo. Ah, you missed the major fraud reference. No wonder he's shaking. <laughs> Charles Ingram's carrying out major fraud in front of a live. Major fraud. That's the name of the show. That's the name of the show. <laughs> Just... <laughs> A fun little Stephen back story thing for you. In I think it was primary five, I actually played cricket in the Kinlock cricket team. Didn't know how to play cricket. Was it Jeff? We went and played players. <laughs> we went and played with some guy who like showed us cricket once. I can't even remember why he just appeared, showed us all cricket, and we went, yeah, we'll join the team. And you still got a Scotland-wide ELO of like 2,000 or something. No, we got absolutely wrecked by the other team because they knew how to play the game. <laughs> a visual clue of some sort. They were called Polo Gummies. Would have a um, member of the audience somewhere and then in high school, I played in the rugby team. Also didn't know how to play rugby. I was but we did okay. Too. Did we play together? Probably not. I don't remember you being there, but then... I, no I think it was when I was, I was friends with you, so... You know, Probably like not that for A or or that for B or some something fairly subtle. Like it's um, Paul's dad. So like. I, question after question, I was looking, I was locked onto his face, uh, and but I I couldn't detect I couldn't detect anything that was he was he didn't seem to be systematically looking at the crowd. But even during the recording, even during the game, you were pretty sure that something untoward yeah. was going on. Yeah. You were that convinced? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, do you remember the polo that was a giant polo and it had little polos inside? Now, you've got 64,000 Yes, it was a letdown. Would be for was not enough in it to, be, pounds. to Obviously, you've yeah. got justify it. Um, and you would drop £32,000 if you gave me a wrong It's like the giant packs of uh, lip balm you can get here. But you might like the look of it. Have a look at it. Um, it's number 12 of the possible 15. Right, it's just the... Uh, oh, no, this one, the, this one is a fuck-up, but 250, I think, is the big one. Like Holbein, Michelangelo, Rembrandt. I think he's about to commit major fraud. 
the pressure's rising as the money goes up. Just five coughs so far from Tequin Wittock, but all subtlety will soon disappear as greed takes Oh, this this is when he has a coughing fit or, or he coughs like the answer, doesn't he? That's, I forget which one it is. It's either this one or the next one. Rembrandt! It's like that. Okay. Good luck. <laughs> you can walk um, away with that check, but have a good look at this question. This is the answer is Holbein, on by the way. Rocket League. I think it's either Holbein or Rembrandt. The answer is Joe Biden. Um, I think I think it was Holbein. Here it comes. <coughs> Another guilty cough from Whittock. Diana Ingram seems nervous. I'm sure, it was Holbein. I'm sure, it was Holbein. God damn it! It would be Hunter Everything. Biden. She looks towards painting. Tequin Whittock. You've got sixty-four thousand. You've got no lifelines. You can walk away. Isn't the latest Q and on thing is that Hunter Biden is like literally like the devil? Um, I wish. Yeah, Fuck I knows. Q and on's gonna die and off. It's great. Let's try they can make the title smaller. That's too late now. Yeah. Um, Holbein. Or does he There's fuck no up? A decent pause no, that, that was the right answer. And Ingram choosing his answer. <laughs> Holbein, yeah. yeah. But. Holbein. It does lay a seat. It is the next question where, he, where, okay. some, where it all goes wrong. The team believe that to escape scot free with the cash. Well, the first one was Obama. But Obama was literally the devil. Because he's, because he's black, is literally it. I think if they bailed out at 125,000, I don't think any of us would be sat here. I think it's just pushed that little bit too far. And as I said, every step far. of the way up, there's more. Evidence no, that you've got I, I actually think even if he'd won just it may 32 grand, they'd have still came after him because you cannot. You cannot defraud the rich, we that's like about 17, 18. This is the worst door. crime you can commit. That appear to be leading somebody. But would there have been enough to get them, is the thing. But the mm. two men can't in court, resist. In the court of law! It's to be the undoing of all of them. I think it was when it was getting on for sort of serious I'm really building up to this. Probably when we oh. sort of got to one, two, five. Who's playing? I think that's probably when, you know, I mean, I definitely oh, thought... Maisie is not in the room with me, but Holly is. You're seeing something Maisie must be sleeping with Mum. You think that there might be collusion going on. You think there might be cheating collusion. going on. I'm not sure. It's difficult. It certainly is not my call to stop the programme. It had been stopped once already. I was alerted It'd be really funny if, like, Trump got indicted for cheating on who wants to be a millionaire. ...to listen out, because on the microphones, they could hear... Some coffee. Chris Tarrant. <laughs> Chris and Tarrant quoted as he was the dumbest so goddamn so contestant I ever had. It seems, uh, more systematic, so oh, uh, Trump tweeted uh, on Truth Social was that he was indicated. Realize that it was, ah, was he? From mm. another contestant. Good to know. Yeah. He truth, do you mean? You didn't tweet. Coughs, which are adjacent yeah. to the right answers, when you first hear them, Peter you're Frank looking to see the moustache, mate. Stays, you know, if it's a pattern that's going to be repeated and sustained throughout the series. As Tim Curry in disguise. But after a while, when it is, your reaction on hearing no, it Tim is Curry has a very distinctive face. Laugh, really, face. The coughs come up His face right isn't distinctive enough. It's, it's kind of distinctive, but not distinctive Have a look at number 13. It is worth... It's got the winning smile. ...of a million. Mm. Right, here we go. If you give me a wrong answer to this question, if you decide... What is Tim Curry doing these days? Not, not, not a lot, Paul. Which is fairly sobering. But You're about to Chris discuss Tarrant something quite sad. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! What's up? Oh my God! Is everything okay? <laughs> yes, everything's no. okay. It's not okay. Are you sad that Tim Curry is dead? <laughs> I think I died. I think I died. Big cat what? jumped on Elliot's it's Don Aaron's chair. No, she oh, jumped right. on my arm. <laughs> Unexpectedly. Don't go sneeze. Oh no. Oh I no. Tim Curry had a stroke yeah. 11 years ago. How did I not know that? Probably because I never saw him in anything ever. No. Are we all good? Twitter account. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. God, he's, he's 76 now. Pounds that the stakes are yeah, you might not have had enough coughs because you can say, oh, it's just a coincidence, but this is where it's like, oh, fucking hell. You seem to be bringing him back to earth, and you'd see him go, yes, right, yes, thanks for that. Anyway, ignore all that and carry on. 
The next question would form a key part of the prosecution case at their trial. This is £250,000. What's up? Oh, that's not the question I thought it would be. A Prime Minister. It's a hat. hat. Shoe. Tie. Tequin Whittock is caught on tape getting the answer from his well, unsuspecting neighbour. Armed with the answer, Aww. I wish that guy was up. I think it's a hat. Brexit, man. I think. I mean, again, you know, I'm, I'm not sure, but I, I think it's a hat. I think it's one of those really sort of tall hats that sort of came into fashion, presumably when he was prime minister. <coughs> Two coughs, and he's not finished yet. Well, this is the famous hat question, of course. What type of garden? <laughs> famous hat question. Yeah, yeah it's a household Love name, it. this question. <laughs> Love it. And Love it. Code. Famous hat Shoe, question. A hat, of course, which is the right answer, or a tie. And what we hear at the same time as this is conversation among the FFF contestants. That's fastest finger first, by the way. I don't know why he acronymed it. <laughs> Lucy, Thomas Lucy, in fact, confirms the fall of Friday. It's a hat. Follow, 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 Just follow, after he confirms it's a hat, you hear Ingram say to Tarrant, I think it's a hat, and of course Whittock's there right on cue. <coughs> Thank you but for demonstrating what a cough sounds like. Remembers things differently. A question had been asked, and the answer had been given, and as I turned around to look time. towards my son, it actually is. Uh, Tequin Whittock said to me, did you know that answer? And I said, yes, I did. Why do you think he asked you that question? Tom I, I don't know. Lucy. I think it was probably just because I turned round and I was sort of British roar. His way, just for something to say. It's worth two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. He continues his private conversation with Whittock. See, this isn't the one that I think is the smoking gun, but am I sure? Yeah, isn't it the one where he goes, "Where's the answer?" or whatever. <laughs> Yeah, hat. It's a hat. You lose ninety-three thousand pounds if you're wrong, no, Charles. Going for hat. Final answer. Yep. <laughs> her fucking shuffling. You just won two hundred and fifty-five. Yeah. Three it's the, it's the five hundred grand one. Like Tequin it's the one where he, it's really taken the piss. Water of a million. It's easy for me to realise that it was Tequin doing the coughing because he was only about ten or fifteen feet away. From Tequin. Me. And the way he was coughing Tequin, was rather yeah. bizarre. Um, he was actually turning towards the set to cough. So, at one point, he was chatting to the contestant to his left. Tim Curry's best role was way. Command and, and Conquer. He around a full 90 degrees with his head, cough towards the hot seat, and then turn away again. But Whittock's about to risk everything as the Major nearly blows the lot. Oh, he's going to blow the Major fraud. Oh. He he's going gonna... to commit. Wait, 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 wait. If, if I want to look this program up later, do you know what its name is so that I can find, find it's it? It's called uh, Charles Ingram Dash the some. <laughs> <laughs> I like how the aborted joke was funnier than whatever it was going to be. It's worth £500,000. asks the penultimate question. Charles Ingram makes a big mistake. Here we go. A big boo-boo. He makes a major mistake. Yeah, why didn't they do that? Baron Houseman is best known for his planning of which city? Rome. Paris. 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 Berlin. Berlin. I think it's Berlin. It's not. It's not. I think. <laughs> Charles, ten minutes ago you thought it was A1. That's <laughs> fucked up. He thinks it's the wrong answer. I think, I think it's Berlin. Take your time. It's worth half a million. It's a huge amount of money to win. It's also a huge amount of money to draw. And Hausmann's a... It's more Houseman. a German name than an Italian name. And a Parisian name and Athens name. He quickly rules out the other options. Something. Yeah, sort of... 
likely to be at home. I'm really not sure. Um, Yet one fucking job. Oh, Read out the sure. answers sequentially. If I was at home, I'd be saying Berlin if I was watching this on TV. He forgets um, the system and fails to check slowly around the answers. It's worth 500. One fucking job. God Christ. This man is a living example of the British class system. Stupid people get good jobs. As long as you need. Baron Haussmann is best known for his planning of which city? Rome, Paris, Berlin, Athens. This is worse than movies, where I know he's going to get the million. But you think? But I'm still stressed, thinking he's not going to get the million. <laughs> he's got to fuck it up. Yeah, he's fucking up the scam. He's fucking up the major fraud. Here he's going for Berlin. He's fucking up so badly. You know he's going to get it. And you still worry he's not going to get it. If he had fucked up the major fraud. No. <laughs> And he would have got away with 32 grand. No, they would have still found him out at this point. When I say partly in whisper, it's not... Because that 250 is pretty no. bad. And it comes right on the heels of the cough. <coughs> Your mic, Paul. No. So, in a way, what, what, what the coffer's doing there, what Mr. Whitted's Please. doing there... The coffer. ...breaking the code, the agreed code, but he can only do that by putting a no there Please. with his cough. I'm begging. Otherwise, he oh, would <laughs> interpret the cough as meaning Berlin is the right answer. Mute! <coughs> Is this a new signal? <laughs> the effect of the nose <laughs> seems immediate. Yeah, he blew his nose. There's a cough, there's a no, and then just after that, there's a, a little series of nose. Yeah, so he said well. no after he coughed, he didn't say the answer. Happened at that point, yeah. um, and it's only my subjective opinion, but I think if you've got a system, you've got to have a, an all stop. He looks a bit like Edgar Wright at uh, Space. No. Otherwise, you could end up in a in a very difficult position, and I think that was probably not their all stop signal. In a very all difficult position. I think so. I'll give you that if you and give me Tim Curry on the know. mustache, man. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's Paris. <coughs> oh. Just as he's dismissing Paris, Tequin Wittock's cough stops him mid sentence. Like, if it wasn't going to be Berlin, I'd say Paris. Because sure they're you're next to each other, you know? It's not going to be Rome, because Rome's been around since time immemorial. He was convinced that it was like Berlin, the Athens. You know, prompted by the fact that he believed that Baron Hausmann was a, a German name. Um, but Ben, you're and, you're you're yeah, discounting the Berlin, you know I mean, the possibility Baron that Baron Strausson could have been a time traveler. And, That's true. <laughs> could have been there. Could have said to Romulus, "Hey, Paris, here's 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 how you're going to do this," <laughs> and then time traveled away. <laughs> he freezes. He just, he freezes for the moment. He obviously... Hey, maybe instead of, maybe he said, <coughs> instead of, <coughs> no! Um, the answer is Berlin. I'm sure it's not Rome. Ingram now makes another U-turn. I'd have thought it's Berlin, but there's a chance it's Paris. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> there's a chance, my fucking God. Which famous band did the song Take My Breath Away? That's right, it was Paris. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's Berlin. <laughs> He's is won that the call. Stop signal again. Diana stares in Wittock's direction. It could be Paris. They're pushing their luck. <laughs> you don't have to play this question. A fastest <laughs> finger first contestants about to link the major's answers to Wittock's coughs. We're we going back to Tom Lucy again. No, it's this guy. It suddenly occurs to me, this, this bloke's being helped out here. And as soon as I have that thought, almost as soon... Oh my God, what a fantastic fucking voice. Yeah, now, this is what's going on in, on in my mind. It wasn't a long process, it was almost immediate. It's the bloke who's coughing. He's, you know, is he sending him signals? A me so beautiful a voice. I alighted on Tech te and Whittock. And during the course of... If, that, everyone from England should sound like this. If you look... <laughs> I don't want to encourage this from Paul, but if you look up, he may have actually <laughs> played Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and you can get his run and see if he did anything. Who? Uh, but Larry Whitehurst, I guess, because all these people are fastest finger first contestants, so they all could have played. Or they could have not played. Hate to encourage this of you, but... <laughs> uh, well, he was play on four be able... times. Was he? Did he, did he ever get in? He never no. got to the hot seat. Oh, never what a shame. But at least he got his moment of fame here, fingering Tequin Wittick. It says he's from London. I'd, he sounds northern. People can move, you know. 
<laughs> no, I have never moved in my entire life to That's anywhere. True. I am a Pfeiffer born and bred. Hey. Like, there are four pictures of him on this wiki, and the main one looks like a different person. In the right place. I think it is Paris. He looks like him. Um... <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna play. Ingram responds to the cough. Yeah, he looks like different. Hang on, no, where are we? <laughs> <laughs> like, even Chris Tarrant's like, what the fuck is going on here? Right. You've got two hundred and fifty thousand pounds. Yeah. You've got no lifelines. Yeah. If you give me a wrong answer, you still got thirty-two thousand. That's yeah. guaranteed. Mm -hmm. Whatever. He looks like a member of the Proclaimers. 18,000 lost. You lose 218,000. Give me a right answer, it's worth half a million. I've never actually looked her up. Is Anne Robinson a bad person or not? Oh, yes. Yeah, She's like person. extremely right wing, like self, like really, really misogynist. And Robinson. Mm -hmm. Yep. Fuck. Okay. She's about what you'd anti expect. Sco anti Scottish, anti Welsh, anti everything. I don't list her positive qualities as well. <laughs> and I think it's Paris. And Robinson, apparently, she CC. And Vary. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to play. I'm going to play. I'm going to play Paris. Wait, like, it's not a surprise, is it? I know. I know. I, I she she wrong. made her star at the Daily Mail. Oh, God, okay. Final answer. Final answer. So, yeah, he completely U turned from Berlin to Paris. It couldn't be Paris, but I think it's Paris. Pounds. You did not need to play this question. You thought it was Berlin, Berlin, Berlin. You change your mind to Paris. That brought you 500,000. Yes! The major clearly. Yeah, she also played down like me too. Blowing it all on Berlin. So, it takes you know. four guilty cops oh, she was the to, the to, to get him there. Yet still, most of the audience and the man sat opposite him are unaware he's cheating. Your dad was on countdown. Did he cheat? Yeah, I do not remember. Yeah, he was chatting about it earlier in chat too. To One two days and then lost third. A very very concentrated job to do. So Did really, you see short it? of somebody, you know, sending up smoke signals or lighting a bonfire in the audience. I mean, I would not pick anything up. Normal. There you go. There's Chris Tarrant saying what I said. Just in, I mean, I'm this close to someone. I'm eyeball to eyeball. So no, I'm not aware of anything at all. And, and I was genuinely. I'm actually very stupid. When I came <laughs> off here, that there was, um, <laughs> you know, you wouldn't believe it. Actually, I have trouble getting into my car. Might, might have happened. I should be allowed to drive, <laughs> frankly. <laughs> Right. Are you alright? Yeah. Did he win? Yeah. That's the reality. What you turned. But he's got one question left. The impossible no, I mean, question. Alright. The cheating majors still yeah, in the He's been winning ever since. He was he's not the champion, yeah. No. <laughs> to win his million. Just about the whole of the United Kingdom. We're going to look <laughs> at the million pound question, which we haven't done very often since we started three years ago. I actually don't know what the other answers were. This question. I think you know the routine. They're very obviously not Google. <laughs> of your situation, you've got five hundred. Uh, Google, oh, you've two Google. That's fucking still impressive. Question number fifteen. If you go for it and give you me should the watch the Vatis' dad counter. A million pounds. You'll be the third person in Britain to win the million since we came on it. The thing is, is I could probably find that out because I remember what your surname is from when you messaged me on Facebook, Vati. Thousand pounds. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you're guaranteed 30 right, Here's the main, main event here. This is an impossible question. None of us will get this. You do not have to play this question. It's worth one million pounds. You've got 500,000. This is it. Question number 15 of 15 on who wants to be a millionaire. Hold on, let me Google this. Followed by 100 zeros is known by what name? Google. Google. <laughs> Google. Megatron. Megatron. <laughs> yeah, it, they're really obviously not the right. <laughs> Nanomole. Nano I love it. That's like a that's like a zero with a hundred zeros and the one the after fucking it. most obvious hundred. Like the other ones are like fucking who was Catherine of Aragon married to? It's like who the fuck knows that? He's sitting over there at seat three. And like, Lady Gaga. If you plant this seed, what type of tree will grow? I remember that being one, and the guy got it right. I can really study the process between these two people. Mega Nano. Oh, God. Mega Nano. It seems his wife. <laughs> no. He's playing on. I'm not sure. However. <laughs> oh, she wants him to stop now? Of course, yeah. Take the money. Run. Question number two. <laughs> The mood in the production office is strangely flat. Normally I probably would be quite excited that, you know, one of my contestants has won a lot of money. 
Um, oh, one of my possessive. Assistants. She has some doubts in my mind that something's But you're all her children. I don't think I could really sort of get enthusiastic about it, really. You've got £500,000 in your hand. Nobody at all Google. would blame you to walk away with that amount of money. It's a huge check. If you give me a wrong answer, you lose £468,000. As it turns out, the Major had made a Google amount of mistakes. <laughs> A number one, followed by one A Megatron amount of mistakes. <laughs> I actually looked up the other day. Who Wants to Be a Millionaire has had to do corrections they have, over yeah. the years. Um, Some of them were like vague. Multiple things could have been technically correct based on wording mm -hmm. and things like that. Uh, the most famous one is Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen on the one million pound question. They oh, fucked up right. and they got the wrong answer. They got the wrong answer, but who wants to be a millionaire fucked up? Because it was the what is the motto of the United States, and it has two. And it mottos. is Lawrence Llewellyn Bowen. No, it's uh, well, it depends. Oh. It's either E Pluribus Unum or In God We Trust. And they said In God We Trust, and it was wrong, but it was actually right because it has two mottos. Did they give them the million then? No, they it was let, for charity. They let them uh, do another question, and they took the money. Oh, okay. So they got five hundred grand. Checks round the answers. <sighs> That's fair. One by one. Better than thirty-two grand. Creighton did good. I think it's a nano mole. No, you don't. Nano mole is the least answer of all of them, apart from possibly Megatron. Tapes reveal Techwin Whitock checking the answer. Oh yeah, that's, that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. that's insert, why I was asking you. insert GIF of Mr. Bean copying <laughs> homework. I was just <laughs> testing you to make sure you knew. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've heard of a Google. I I put the word Google beneath the air to test <laughs> your cough. faith in me knowing it. I'm waiting for Tequin Whitock to cough at precisely the moment that the major mentions the. God, word. I love his fucking voice. And the first time he mentions the word Google... Oh, he should have spent less time training his voice and more time training his reactions. Mm. Mm. I'm also thinking, during that process, <laughs> which is almost completely the opposite of that, I'm thinking, don't you, don't you dare, don't you dare, I love you. I'm thinking... <laughs> I love you. I love you. Please, Teclin, I love you so much. Don't betray me like this. <laughs> I thought we were going to be friends after the show, Don't play your part in this major fraud. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what a Google is. Ah, <laughs> uh, magnificent. <laughs> we should just do this after every chill stream, just watch something after Rocket League. I don't think it's Gigabit, and I don't think it's Nanomole. You said you did. You said you did think it's Nanomole. He revisits all four to check the answer with Whittock a second time. Is Megatron a Transformers thing? Google. Yes. I think it might also be... It must also be like a maths thing or something. It seems he's again under the watchful eye of the... I was going to search for Paul's way already. Megatron is a Decepticon. Yeah, he's the main antagonist of But is it also a maths thing? Or are they really just taking the piss by putting a Transformers reference in their million pound question? Uh, it does It does not look as though it is the name for anything else in a while. Charles, it's also the only chance you'll ever have of losing £468,000. <laughs> but just put that into the equation. Yeah, you've got I'm... half a million. <clears throat> You're going for the one you've never heard of. Just because... It was at this point that Tegan Wittick started burping. For the right Tegan Wittick. <laughs> Tegan and Sarah Wittick. I mean, I don't mind taking the odd risk now and again. His wife, As an extra backup, uh, one of them will have a scream and have a heart attack on the correct answer. Yeah. You've been like it for an hour. <laughs> he was about to answer the million pound question, which means that he stands to win a million pounds, but he also stands to lose, if he's wrong, 468,000 pounds. A tidy sum to anybody and it became obvious that he wasn't under the pressure that he should have been somehow it didn't make mm. sense he should have been very very careful and very certain and he certainly wasn't both of those or either of those. I would simply just have answered the questions correctly mm -hmm. I would have just known answer. going in okay let's um take your time 
Like as long as you need What's the chance of getting them all right back? So let me figure this out. One in four chance. That's actually yeah. The first five are gimme, so it's actually one in four to ten times. Very slowly got me somewhere, but but you also get fifty fifty. So I miss quite a lot of um, the the action um, of the, the the questions. I was having a shit. I think about the quarter of a million pound question because <laughs> the, the frantic phone calls were going on. Um, but the fact that he was still there without actually knowing what was going on um, confirmed my suspicions. And, and certainly when watching... The, the chance million, of getting them all right you know, by chance is pretty much one in a billion. I came oh, into right. the studio and I saw Adrian and he asked me if I thought that there was anything suspicious going on. So you're saying there's and a I chance. I've been uneasy up until that point. And, and oh, it's Helen really cool. Wood. So fast, Helen Wood is the most <laughs> British name Ever. He could have got hold of the questions beforehand or whether his wife or he had any kind of device on them or if indeed he was being helped by anyone else in the audience. If you're okay. wrong, you lose. I can't believe none of them thought maybe somebody could cough. <laughs> you lose one. It's one of those things that's incredibly calls. obvious in retrospect, but I bet at the yeah. time you're just like, on, mega, 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 mega. I don't think it's an anime. I don't, <laughs> I don't think it's an anime. <laughs> Megatron, mega, 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 mega. <laughs> that's fucking, that's, that's, that's the fucking, that's the fucking okay. underworld song. That's born slippy. Chris, I'm gonna play. No, oh, she's was <laughs> ten seconds away from oh, yeah. having I'm a breakdown. I am going to play. Yeah. You do not have to play this question. There's nothing on my screen here. You <laughs> After three well, she's so annoyed. On the million pound question, she's screaming rage like we're going to get fucking caught here. What are you the doing? The subtitle always um, breaks the line every time. Oh, no, okay, it didn't do it there. Fuck you, exactly you subtitle. No ever lost. <laughs> oh, God, don't. No, it's a, it's a Google. Tell me it's a Google. God, is it a Google? It's a famous web browser. Yeah, it's a Google. He clearly, like, just does not fucking know. I think I know. I think it's a Google. <laughs> it's there. I'm going to play Google. <laughs> like, keep in mind it has God. been amplified, but still. God. Please don't go for a break. Please do not go for a break. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> You're going to go for a break. I'm going for a break. Oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> This is turning into an epic night. Join us again for the third part of tonight's Who Wants to Be a Million? An epic Talk amount of major fraud. Imagine if it was legit. <laughs> <laughs> and he just did that. <laughs> and it was, it was all legit. a coincidence. It was, it was the best piece of television ever made, created. <laughs> you didn't have to go for a break. In the break, as they wait to see she if Charles Ingram's won a million, there's furious activity backstage. The head of Celador is called to see if the show should be Celador? Stopped. Yeah, it's no, the people ever lost the show. Okay, no discussions these days, gentlemen. It's not fair. It's a serious amount of money at stake. Please say oh, yeah, the jazz amount of money at stake. They said that they were on the commercial break and they were about to go back and say that the guy had won a million. But they were certain that there was some form of cheating going on. What should they do? Is this guy Irish? And I said to him that <laughs> Could I you tell? very strongly that he ought to come I up wasn't to the sure. studio that night. He initially was very dismissive. Um, and I said, well, what evidence do you have? And they said, well, just gut instinct. And I said, well, we, we can't stop a show and accuse someone on gut instinct. I said, you must go ahead and we will deal with it later. He's like the, the sergeant in like a police drama. Like, yeah. I need results. Major Charles Ingram. Did I imagine this? It was not a show suddenly future. start because of a bomb threat once. He got a this of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Yeah. Uh, got this I've never heard of it, one, but... Followed by 100 zeros. Did they not mention the 9-11 thing? I thought they were going to mention the 9-11 no. thing. Why would they? <laughs> Only the drama pulls that off. He initially went for Nanomol. He initially went for an animal. Again, he knew the he drama is very good, by the way. It's called Quiz, I think. He then went for Google ITV. mainly because he'd never heard of it, but he'd heard of the other three. Although it does try <laughs> and do the, maybe they were innocent. <laughs> you no longer have that. And it also has Michael Sheen as Chris Stern. <laughs> he just won one million! Yeah! He's happy as well. One million major frauds. That's like 
1.5 million. Oh, was he the first finger quotes millionaire? No, he wasn't, no. But I've heard. Might have been like third or something. There's only been like six millionaires or something in the UK version. Probably tequila. firing up the major as well. And I, my reaction is I can't... Six is tequila. Tyler Tequila I seem to be is the Nazi now. Who's witnessed what I've seen. You know, I, am I the only one here who's seen this? Did I really see this? You know, what's going on here? Why is nobody else... Get noticed? this guy his own series. Tom Lucy, listen to him gripe about things. Yeah. Mardo only one. Unimpressed. I'm the only one who He'd be thinks a great podcaster. we should leave the EU. I met my son coming down the stairs. This guy's all Brexit. And as he looked at me, he said he was at it, Dad. Dad. Was at it. So he's indefinite. When the major won his million pounds, is that a... it was quite a strange atmosphere in here because building up to that, there'd been a feeling of disbelief amongst the crew anyway. <laughs> because we strongly suspected he was cheating. And then when the last guy to win the old series was called Ingram Wilcox. Yeah. <laughs> and I noticed that certain members of the crew... The most not recent one was called Donald Fear, which sure is even better. To react ...because they were obviously had suspicions of their own. Um, I noticed some of them were slow clapping and just looking... There was no fear in his eyes as he won the million pound. Oh, he was great. He said, come on, you know... He did Apparently he only used one lifeline as well. Yeah, he was fantastic. No otherwise. He just knew all the answers, <laughs> which is a good way he, of cheating. Yeah. Did he, did, he, did he phone his dad and tell him he was going to win the million? No, he just used, like, he legit had to use it, but I can't remember what it was. Especially having been with the show since the start, you know, you really want somebody ask to get there and you really want somebody to say that, that little step and do so it. So he could say, I don't know. <laughs> but because of the way that, uh, the way that it appeared the Major had got to this point, as I say, everybody was just incredibly uncomfortable. What a night! <laughs> and his brother appeared before him winning half a million. That's funny. Yeah, he did, yeah. No idea! He beat his brother by winning the million. You were going, you went to hell and back up there. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was down, just sort of offset. Where oh yeah, and they're arguing after the win, aren't they? Hugged Spoilers. each other. And Diana Sorry. was crying. But I mean, I didn't totally believe that it was real tears. It sort of to me was a bit put on. It was fake real tears. Sort of a bit fake. <laughs> wow! <laughs> yes. oh God, wow, steps! Literally, <laughs> <laughs> they down the steps from um, the Wow, A1! <laughs> the way that it was put to them um, after congratulating them was that it was common practice... Do you think that now that's what A1 are most famous for? <laughs> and would they object to having such for a being done? almost the wrong to answer to that Charles and no. picked? Um, and I found nothing. Okay, Anything name one of A1's songs. Uh, take on me, the cover you just told um, me about. Because it. my suspicions hadn't. Um, Fuck. Hadn't. Uh, okay, away. name their other song. I was just left feeling well. Um, don't I don't know. quite understand what's gone on here. I can't believe you knew their other song was called After Don't Know. After being searched, the called. Ingrams <laughs> are taken to their dressing room, but rather than celebrating, have a huge row. Yep, there you go. <laughs> you are lucky. Mad. Security guards have pointed out that the sort of shouting coming from the, their dressing room um, and their window was open so you know well, as soon as things yeah you didn't get to spend it on the new shirt you're right you know there was raised voices coming from there instead and he had to sell the shirt paying legal window, costs so hear what's being said the window was slammed shut well there was an atmosphere have to pay someone else to take that shirt dressing when i was there <laughs> an atmosphere <laughs> dominated by her and the impression was that something was not as it should be, definitely. Diana looked very sort of shaken and... He wanted to spend money on Bitcoin. Physically, <laughs> sort of just... I've heard about this new thing called Bitcoin. Um, and Charles was very tense. <laughs> um, I've got to invest it in American Airlines stock. Was sort of a lot of attention was sort of... <laughs> right now. <laughs> ...playing with the ash in the ashtray and just generally not saying very much at all. These two people had just won a million pounds. They should have been ecstatically happy. They should have wanted to speak to the children. They should have wanted to speak to the dog. They should have wanted to do something other than well, speak to Tex and Wick. As they seemed. Um, and the atmosphere. He was on the fucking side. weakest link after Millionaire, after they knew he cheated. Yeah, he, he got. It's, it's one of those famous for cheating kind of things. Further than Fuck they had sake. agreed that he would go. And as a result, he had possibly exposed himself to 
what has now happened, the trial and the subsequent. In there's 2010, a little, there's a little bit of an afterword coming up here, which is great. Of fighting. The man who claims his allergies made him cough. Tequin Whittock in seven points. He's on next. <laughs> oh, look at his fucking face. Look at his fucking face. I certainly do. What are the odds? I don't know if he went on one legitimately. Yeah. <laughs> no, he was shite. <laughs> oh, wait, I'll show you. Whittock finds it's not so easy playing it straight. Sweet pastries is still there. I've got, sure. got a clue, so obviously I'll... Can tell this? They're meatballs. Carol said sweet pastries. Final answer. Final answer. Wrong. You had 4,000 pounds. Yeah, sweet pastries are fucking... You made a grand. <laughs> The oh, sweet pastries. Oh, what are they called again? Baklava. Yeah, there we go. God. That million pound check can be I'd be getting preemptively divorced if I didn't know that one. My car went up to the studio centre. I said to them to keep the, 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 the gallery, the, the truck powered up. Uh, could they put all the tapes up for me and I would have a look at them. And we sat together and watched through the programmes. Um, and to Paul's credit, and at the end of Coronation Street, we finally watched the, the Millionaire Show. <laughs> <laughs> Each one of the coughs when I said, Well, there, pull that one, there, that one. He would, you know, do his best. Um, as we got further. In 2010, up, Charles Ingram lost three toes on his left foot. So we got to the, the million pound In an accident involving a lawnmower. He tried to fuck a lawnmower with his foot. The police mm. are called in, and Paul Smith <laughs> has to reach oh, Charles the... Ingram to tell him he's not getting his million. I have to tell oh. you that, that we have suspicions from viewing the recording of last Monday's uh, programme. Come on, Courtney, hit the Pentagon. That there were irregularities <laughs> during the taping of the show in which... This is September 17th, banner of it fucking late. Let's watch on tape, Dolly. Suspicions have been referred to the police. Right. Oh, God. Not for the moment will be airing the programme or indeed authorising payment of the cheque. Right. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, I completely refute that, obviously. Um, <laughs> All right, well, thanks for letting me know. Okay. Yeah. What effectively I was saying was, you have cheated us of a million pounds on our show. And I would have suspected that I would have, if I'd have been him in that situation, I would have said, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, hang on a minute, you know, what are you talking about? With that extraordinary call... Ah, uh, yes, well, we just went, oh, OK. And Tequin Witter, Fair cop. The major resorts to his strategy, yeah. the mm. counter-attack. I did not cheat if I can use that very firm expression to cover everything. I can't say that there wasn't a cough going on, so but I did yeah. not um, either hear... That's how he, here he lost this case. He needed that shirt, his lucky shirt, which allowed him to coincidentally win a million coffin. pound. Two weeks ago, a jury convicted Charles Ingram, his wife Diana, and their accomplice Tequin Whittock of deception. The judge told them to give up any childish wishes they might have that they're entitled to the money. Their reputations ruined. Branded cheap. You're gonna say major fraud at the end. What were they charged with? Everything to uh, it their was like to a million pounds. Wait, hold on. And lost it all. Okay, no. Did you get the chair? <laughs> it was. Uh... Did you get the chair? Yes. <laughs> oh, I think I'll tell you here. <laughs> they got the chair. Yeah. They got the chair. Yeah. What a soul. Whispering grass, the trees don't have. It's gonna get us DMCA. Yeah, it's like. Oh! <laughs> oh, I forgot about that, that he won the million. Oh, that's cute. Who kissed their oh, Larry. Still trying. Larry. <laughs> At least he's not in jail. <laughs> Voice expert Dr. Peter French has, has been convicted on. <laughs> For <laughs> triple homicide, <laughs> he is still at large. I <laughs> don't you tell it to the breeze, cause she'll run and tell. Chris Tarrant was convicted of war crimes. And everyone will know because you done told the brabbers. Major hey. fraud. No, they didn't. Movie blockbuster. <laughs> ITV series, more like mate. <laughs> Over on ITV Two <laughs> like next. Twenty years later. Look at the ITV Two logo. <laughs> Fucking yeah. Christ. As he tries so to good. His way to one million pounds. What? what? With us here for the ITV News. What did you say before? I was wanting to see if it was made. You said something, Stephen. I forgot what it was. Oh, what what was it that they were done with? It was something like it's. It was like a really technical thing. It's like procuring. Procuring a, the execution, the execution of, a of a valuable security, security by, deception. by deception. Yeah.
Apparently there's a law against that. <laughs> <laughs> Who'd have thought? Well, while, while we're on the subject, who wants to be a millionaire? Best phone a friend millionaire. I know Not what this is going to be. Uh, John Carpenter, yeah? Oh, look at this fucker. <laughs> is this like in the video game? I think we've seen this. Uh, yeah, I put it on all this. the time. I love it. <laughs> right, no, I'll just go to the phone a friend because that's the that's the that, that's the money shot. Right. So the question, I'll, I'll get the question on the screen. Which of these words means wickedness? Now this man, <laughs> unfortunately, has a pretty distinctive voice. Let's just listen to him a bit. Yeah, have a good look at it. He look, also looks like Peter Griffin. <laughs> Alright, really here we go. Good. Here's the call. Hello? Hello. Peter? Yeah. Hiya, it's Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Good evening. You're joking. I didn't nope. think he'd make the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Colin has This is fucking great. <laughs> right. uh, it's good. He's on £16,000, but this question is worth £32,000 to him. Okay. Alright, mate. Fingers crossed. The next voice here will be Collins. Okay. I tell you the question. There are four possible answers. One of those, the right answer, is worth 32,000. Alright, mate. Okay, Colin, 30 seconds. Good luck. Your time starts now. Peter, which of these words means wickedness? Wickedness. Wickedness. Go on. Uh, topography. T O P O G R A R A C H Y. Turbitude. T U R P I T U D E. Uh, Torpity, T O R P I D I T Y, or Turbichuan, T E R P S I T H O R E A N. What's the second one again? T U R P I T U D E. I think it's that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's one of my favourite YouTube videos. <laughs> If he's wrong, you've lost it's when he gets the Terpsichorean and he has like eight seconds left. <laughs> Final answer. Final answer. Final answer. <laughs> it does look. It's not wrong, you just won £32,000! <laughs> it's fucking amazing. Yeah. It's fucking amazing. Unbelievable. Un fucking believable. How much how much did he get in the end? 125, but uh there's a very it's actually a very sad story behind him. He didn't get the 125 because he had a conviction or something. And then he died before he could spend the money or something. It was some, it's like a really sad story behind it. But we'll always have that 30 seconds. <coughs> oh, sorry, I thought we were still playing millionaire. Oh, it's so fucking good. I love him. Curious, what a man, bullshit man. rule that you can't win the money if you've got a criminal record. Like, no, I think it's because he gonna... had an active arrest warrant out for himself or something. I can't remember. Yeah. But yeah, I'm sure there was some loophole. God, what a fucking show. So are we done here? Or is there anything else? I was trying to think if there was anything else related to the... Wow, snaps. I don't think it's an active... It says just here... They merge, he had a criminal record, that's it. Oh, right. That's some fucking classist shit. bullshit right yeah. there. Call it, call it. Yeah. That was it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but it's he got 125 one. grand for... Eventually. Mm -hmm. But I think he died... Yeah, he died at the age of 52. And, yep, his... And he had no will, so it went back to the crown. Fuck's sake. Died in natural causes, apparently. Uh, yeah. Colour for characters' winnings were later frozen when quiz show bosses received a tip-off. He had a theft conviction Without from April 97. Without paying for five pound in fuel. Yeah, he drove Also off. arson. Oh, and arson, yeah. Oh, okay, fair enough. <laughs> he was the king of quiz quizzes. He will not be forgotten. Oh. I fucking did that once. I, I drove off from a petrol station without paying. That's because I forgot. Well, never go on who wants to be a millionaire, I guess. No, I I, I spoke to the polis and they were like, yeah, okay, you forgot. He, he, you he did manage back. to have a holiday in South Africa. So he, he had a bit of time with the money. So it's not that, it's not that sad it a all story, comes, It all comes back to South Africa. Yep. That, that's why I was setting up this whole stream just for that, actually. <laughs> 
Actually, we should watch the original version of The Greatest Phone a Friend. This is what you had to watch on YouTube back in the day. Look at this shit. Oh, no, no, this no, has got 27 no. million views. Even the fucking, even the fucking uh, uploader has a little smiley face as the, as the rapper ago. Star. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even hear it. Is there... <laughs> Turning is the, the volume up. <laughs> <laughs> is there the person laughing in the background at the no, end as well? No, that, I don't think. Oh. Wicked, 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 wicked. Peter. <laughs> Wait, his friend's name is Peter. And he looks like Peter Griffin. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, this is what you got. I think the YouTube comments uh, are not kind to it. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. If I had a dollar for every pixel in this video, I'd have 73 cents. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, very good. A meatball made from flesh cultivated using the DNA of an extinct woolly mammoth is presented at the Nemo Science Museum in Amsterdam, Netherlands. Fuck yeah. How are, ah, that's good. Bit can't chubby. bring them back, but we can eat them. You can get much more human than that. Oh, I wish they'd bring back woolly mammoths. They were so cool. I remember when I saw one as a child. Now that's how you use phone a friend. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking at that. Right. Johnny Vegas is phone a friend is is fucking great. What's, what's Johnny yeah. Vegas doing these days? I hope everyone enjoyed the story of uh, um, what's his name, <laughs> Charles, the major fraud. Go check his Twitter. Sorry, what was that documentary called again? Uh, <laughs> how the man stole the money. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck, he's a Leeds fan. Oh fuck. <laughs> no, it's called General yeah, Theft. Well, you're gonna have to support Huddersfield now. Shit. Oh, he's yeah. okay. Right, so here's the, I'm reading the Charles Ingram Twitter account. Family friends, Twitter pals, pro EU, anti Tory, a proud Remainer with a list of people who should be in jail. <laughs> and he he e likes the dramatization of quiz. He found it well written and eerily accurate. He must. He must be a. He must be a. Um, terrorist. His, his wife sells jewellery now. This is a start. Hashtag liar Trump and hashtag liar Johnson must go to jail for the rest of their miserable lives. The world must be protected. God, his entire personality is. Pro remain. That's so yeah, he's weird. A, well, he's not a major anymore. He uh, he obviously got demobbed or whatever. So <laughs> imagine still being really pro remain. What? I don't, so I don't see how ripping off uh, a company would make you a Brexit here. Oh well, actually. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he retweeted Alistair Campbell. God. Tell you what, he seems to have a pretty chipper attitude about the whole thing. I think he's gotten over it now. It has been. More than twenty years. Well, it's the thing like is, is, is if, as if you're, as if you're already rich and you I don't think go he's to rich jail. Anymore. <laughs> yeah. Like I think he, I think he was heavily in debt. Wasn't that like part of the reason that they had to try and? All right. Okay. Um, let's see. He was sub oh, He was also convicted for insurance fraud. So he, he was... just likes fraud, it seems. Yeah, he just he likes his fraud. Um. He he. Went back to uni and got a degree in corporate management. What the fuck? Uh, he resigned his commission two years later, so he, he held it for. I imagine that the. the, the pro, 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 blah, blah, blah. He's, he's done a tweet that's just a list of various hashtags about Brexit. Yeah, he's one of those. Ugh. I remember when I used to be one of those. Um, what 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 did he do? He tried to rip off. He wants to be mine. No, I mean the insurance David fraud case. I want to see what it says. Uh, obtaining a pecuniary advantage by deception. A second charge of deception. 
yeah, he just did fake insurance claims. Very boring after trying to rip off a game show. Mm. Uh, went to direct line, didn't make a disclosure about his claims history. Uh, judge told, oh, he was, yeah, he was in dire financial straits, so he couldn't even pay them. What a shame. Love and, hashtag KFC. Oh, I forgot about this. He's written two novels. Oh, yeah. The Network and Deep Siege. We need to read those. <laughs> Let's read The Network. We'll take a chapter at a time. Do it live on stream. Actually, that might be a copyright issue. I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's see if it's on a uh, reputable book website. Ah, yes. My favorite website. Yeah, I'm just checking there. The network. All he does all day is talk about how he okay, hates the conservative the party. This is, is amazing. To get you. No, I don't want Lincoln to. Schatz. I don't think that's Charles Ingram. <sighs> Winston Ingram. No, stop trying to get me to install a. F <sighs> this legitimate website is keeps trying to get me to install things, and I don't like it. <laughs> oh my god, the description. Hit me with it. Mm. Former MI... <laughs> Almost fucked up already. Former M16 field operative Harry Winchester. <laughs> MI6. <laughs> it says M16 here. Is it M16? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh yeah, it does say M16. Harry Winchester has settled down to run a private investigation company in the home counties. However, when an old friend warns the British ambassador of an Al-Qaeda plot to detonate a nuclear bomb in London, Harry faces the most important mission of his life. Three ratings. 2.33 out of 5. <laughs> what about Deep God. Siege? Is that, a, is that a sequel? or? Let's try and find it. Deep Siege, here we are. Oh, here we go. I've got, I've got the... From the publisher, this tale of determination to save a country from its corrupt government is a skillfully written page-turner. Freedom fighters plot to repatriate a sacred Inca idol imbued with unimaginable powers. Oh, no. <laughs> but their hijack plan goes horribly wrong when the plane ditches off Fabulous Cape Verde powers. Islands. The aircraft, an Airbus A380 super jumbo, thought to be the safest airplane in the sky, sinks beneath the waves as this as the impressive power of the US Second Fleet and spearhead of crack British SBS troops swing into action. Trapped on the bottom of the ocean are a dozen terrorists and over a hundred passengers and screw Wait! Hold the fucking phone! So the plane crashes into the ocean but is like hermetically sealed. So it's like a submarine. <laughs> That we need we need to amazing. read Deep Siege, I think. Is that that sounds Poseidon? great. Yeah, but let's read that. Poseidon Charles with England. a plane. How, how big is it? 461 pages! Okay, never mind. Let's read it very slowly over the next two decades. Oh, I've got... Uh, um, I've, I've got the preview chapters. Uh, authors note, although I've endeavoured to make the story as realistic as possible, <laughs> it remains a work of fiction. It has author's notes. Yeah, Is he at the start. Gillespie? At the start. Oh. Uh, then a quote from Harry Truman. And then it begins in 1532 in Peru. Oh no, is this going to be like written? Is this going to be savages? So begins the story of a group of modern-day Peruvian freedom fighters brandished by some as terrorists. Oh, this is not, this is a lot of shite. This is incredibly terrible shite. Yeah, it's just lots of words. This is peak post-9-11 weirdness. Oh, wait. Chapter 1, A Fair Wind Blows. The weather, it turned out, was perfect. Uh, yes, it's off. Very dense. The network is mm. 728 pages. Yeah, I, I can see reading this. It's like nothing is fucking left out. <laughs> it's no editing done. Fuck. Like, there's a, 
there's an entire paragraph dedicated to a guy prying out a stone. <laughs> Is it on Kind? Oh, you can only buy it used and it I'm looking at the, the preview on Google. Which is more than enough for me. Jesus, the preview is fucking massive, let alone the book. Is the preview just the whole book? Because I'm on chapter 6 now, in Tokyo, Japan. Oh, for fuck's sake. I am Yukio, follow me, ordered the smartly suited and heavy set <laughs> Japanese man. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. Uh, Jesus Christ. The hardcover is on Amazon for 5 euro. Used. Good condition. <laughs> His private copy. Wow, he was he was one of like the five people posting pictures of rejoining you. Ooh, we got a bit of politics happen. here. Uh, Sanchez, conservative complex man. Tup Tupac Amaru was a regular oh. co customer of the world's foremost underground arms dealer. Although Rydon oh. was a committed and proven socialist, it was well known Rydon. that he was Rydon. Yeah, R A I D O N. The Pokemon. Oh. Oh my God. Choshi, Limousine, Sanchez. Oh, we've got we got a bit of um we got a bit of Japanese. Haji Mashite offered Sanchez. Uh -huh. Only guys That's from yeah, fucking is, yeah. my immortal. It's the same thing. It's yeah. A, oh my god. He is Tara Gillespie. A form greeting that inquired after his host health. Only guy she must ride on replied economically. <laughs> Oh, there's no, uh, if you don't get this, then fuck you. And they're wearing kimonos, and they're, it's wood-panelled walls. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Great. Uh, they're drinking tea for the spirit of Wabi. They're wearing kimonos again. There's a guy called Dr. Hiroshi. They don't use honorifics at all, by the way. He doesn't even try to do that. Um, Airbus A380. Okay, they're discussing their terrorist plan. Sanchez, PDA. Oh god, this just keeps going. How far does this preview go? Is this the whole book? It's the first 108 pages. Oh, oh, it's got the blurb, it's got the blurb. Oh, god. oh no, it's, it's the same as before. But it's got a picture of Charles Ingram, so I know for a fact okay. it's him. We can get the paperback of Deep Sea. You get the paperback of Deep Siege for one euro thirty. That is too much. Yeah, it's too much. I'm not paying that. And it's three forty delivery. Fuck that. No mind. <laughs> so fucking good. I already bought a, a new EV hat. I don't have time to buy other books. I'm just in awe of... I might follow Charles Ingram on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, I, I I went through like four months of his tweets. It's pretty boring. Yeah, he's a bog standard remainder. You wouldn't think that he was convicted for defrauding a, a game show reading those tweets. Yeah. In the grand scheme of things, though, like <laughs> defrauding a game show is not as bad as literally anything the government has done ever. So, yeah, fair oh. enough. At least you're taking money from rich people. It's fundamentally a good thing. Fuck. Here is a review. <laughs> Hit me with it. Cough, cough. <clears throat> I loved this book more than I loved watching Diana take Tequin's lens the best. Jesus! <laughs> Two people found it helpful. <laughs> I can't believe Tech ah. would only want a grand after all that. Anyway, right, let's wrap it up. Ah, fucking hell. Uh, let me just do some so good. due diligence before I do that.
The problem with so many thrillers nowadays is that they are way too short or way too simple. Read rushed and superficial, especially compared to the price. This one cannot be accused of shortchanging the reader. There's loads of words in it. There's loads of there's words, like, therefore it's good. There's, wor it's... there's words everywhere. So many words. Right. It is time. Uh, I could not beat it to the shops. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Thank I'm really, you all. I'm really happy. I'm really happy that everyone still remembers that. Thank you all for watching, and as always, <laughs> <laughs> don't commit any major fraud. Major fraud. <laughs> oh, why did it start good. at the start instead of at the start? What? <laughs> anyway, dreams on. <laughs>